Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome, welcome, welcome back to the HI Soapbox. I am your host, and today we are talking with the illustrious uh, YGO Devil himself, Satan, or it, you, you, oh. can, you can say you can say your government name if you so choose. Uh, he is he is a uh, um, a creator on TikTok, YouTube, Instagram, the rest. Mostly on TikTok, he I I know him for his stellar debates where he gets a bunch of all the normies and casuals very mad in in conversation, <laughs> and for and, pe and people hate his ass because he he's a he's a meta he's a meta level player which is whatever you know who gives a shit um, meta shoot for life. <laughs> so feel free, so feel free to introduce yourself and and, and and cover any holes that I missed. Gover <clears throat> government name or not, take your pick. Um. I don't I don't give up the government online or to people in general. But like if you aren't if you are uncomfortable like with the tag devil, I get it. So you can always just call me by my nickname. I'm, a, I, I'm an atheist, I don't give a shit. Oh no, I'm I'm just saying I've been saying like just most people I come in contact with are offended by it. But like you know, cheap like Chino, if what? you're not cool with saying devil, Chino. What what a bunch of whiny little bitches, man. Christians That's what I'm saying. Fucking, dude. They're fucking victim complexes, man. There's just they, they have all the power in this country, and they're just such sensitive little fucking snowflakes, man. Jesus. I mean, like, just look at the tattoo, man. Like, straight up Satanist. <laughs> and here's the and you know what the funny thing is? Most fucking evangelicals don't fucking know about that. They see it upside down you know, cross and think that's the thing. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> the Leviathan cross is my favorite tattoo. I'm gonna get shit. some more, dude. Every time I play Binding of Isaac and I see that pickup, I get stoked because I know it's about to be a good run. You just said my favorite indie game, <laughs> but yeah, let's let's get talking about this Yu-Gi-Oh stuff. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so so recent, so just cur quick quick current events, just so we can get that out of the way, so people can get on to the shenanigans later on. Um. Uh, Mary just got banned in Master Duel a couple days ago. Yeah, Merly got banned. Um, How you feeling? Uh, I'm, 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 I'm still grieving that. Um, like you know, everyone is saying you tournament came, is you, like you, you. You came out with a deck list within 24 hours, like without her, like like you the deck moving. It work. It like it works, but it doesn't run. If that makes sense, you know. Mm, it, it it doesn't it doesn't run away from itself after a couple mills like it used to i get that yeah so like you know like be, like beforehand my inboard like before the merly ban on average my inboards would look like cash terror shangri maybe unicorn maybe you know um finrear kit catlos and barone and a sprite elf that was my usual inboards now because merly gone yeah, now that my now that Merle is gone, my inboards usually look like Shangri, Diablos if I'm lucky, and maybe like a set Emperor Marsiliac. The weakest mm. inboards ever. And everyone keeps on saying like Tier is overpowered. Like anyone who's saying Tier is overpowered in Master Duel is not a good player because Tier is like No, no, because Tier went from being Tier Zero to Casual. You, you know, because you know what's a more powerful deck that's barely gotten hit? Dragon Sprite, Nimble, Sprite Nimble a Life Twin is another one. Like Sprite, yeah, um, Sprite, Sprite Life Twin with two Nimble Anglers and three Nimble Beavers and a Sprund in the Dexter deck? Broken. Even with all the I used to actually blue, play on Sprite jet. Twins. They're fun. I think I thought that I think that the Sprite Life Twin deck got a, was a heat was a got a great buff when it came to um adding the nimble package to it with Sprund. It's it, it, it like I was beating I was beating tier easy with it, no problem. It's it's insane. Because like it's the type of deck where you can run three ofs of multiple hand traps and not have your plays hindered whatsoever. Like I think it's like exactly. one out of one out of every fifty games maybe I bricked with like only hand traps and shit. But even then like I have multiple hand. Tra I have like four separate hand traps and a triple tactics talent in my hand and my opener. I'm Gucci. Yeah, and then like another thing is like you know, I'm one of those like master like because like I have been on master a lot more than real life because like I don't have my cards no more. But once I get my stuff, and I'll go back to it real also, life. And also, people smell. Yeah, but like the one thing that people don't use, which I'm kind of like you know 
shocked about is like how people like don't look at like what's the tier list they don't look at the leaks like those are those are helpful tools to get better at master duel because ever since the game came out i've played every single meta deck that has released on master duel so even that's i i, 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 pity, I, I pity you for having to play old lich because that's like i played old lich and personally while it's a, a cool deck I find its playstyle very unfun and underwhelming. I I didn't play Eldritch on um, ranked. I I played um I played Eldritch True Draco. That was like because like when I look at meta decks, like I look at like you know, like what's tier one and tier two. At the time when Eldritch did have its reign, I want to say it was tier three or tier two, mm -hmm. but there was like another deck side by side with it, which was also a tier two. I want to say it was Tribrigade at the time. Mm. And that's the deck I picked over Eldritch. And I've I like, had more I, I like fun with that. Bird up. I like playing Bird Up, too. Bird Up was fucking stupid. I, I fucking love that shit. Like, Bird Up was... Like, I, like the, the war crimes I would commit with Bird Up was insane. Because, like, you could get four Lyralisks out onto the field with the greatest of ease but before you even hit the Tri-Brigade cards. Yeah, on, you know, on God, dude. It's and it's just like I I like I get Lyrless oh I open open Lyrless Lyrless call in two in two uh birds with two different names oh you're done you're done <clears throat> it's over for you babe I'm sorry this this is gonna sound like a hot take but um the times I was playing True out. Draco <laughs> no like I'm talking about, I'm talking about for everyone else because like your comments are about to go crazy after I say this shit all right but um after playing like you know Eldritch True Draco. I will say I had more fun playing Eldritch than I did Sword Soul. Sword Soul, Sword I, Soul I, is no, fucking I don't disagree. Boring. I so my moderator Desert Dust can't, Chara, he loves Sword Soul and he's gonna come be after your ass in these comments. But yeah. I gotta, I gotta be honest. I don't disagree with you. It's like, fucking I, boring. Like, 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 I, I, I hate. I, I, I find. Sword Soul for me, like Eldritch, like here's my thing. As someone who like like looking at it from someone playing against it, Sword Soul's more interesting to play against because mm -hmm. you know it's not just like there's a lot of negate fuck yous, but it's also yeah. like it's not just set five pass. Which right. set five pass is like never enjoyable to play against. No, it never is. It never it is. It never is. But but if I'm playing Eldritch, like there's variance with it in the deck, right? Like there's mm -hmm. like like there is you're gonna do the same fucking thing over and over again no matter what happens with Sword Soul. With Eldritch, like you're gonna get some traps that aren't gonna get you to your Eldritch necessarily. So you're gonna have to like flip an IO and pray. You know, yeah. and, and 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 so like you're not like you, you. I think decks where you don't know what you're going to be doing every time you draw five cards at the beginning of your ter first turn. I think those are more. Those are decks. Kinds of decks are inherently more interesting. And bear in mind, fuck Eldritch. I'm not defending yeah, Eldritch. Yeah, here. Fuck, fuck Eldritch. I'm not defending it either. But I find it more fun than playing Swords. Like, I'll say like this. I, like, I, I, I would. I, I would rather play. I would rather play against Sword Souls. But if I have to pick to play Sword Souls or Eldritch, I'm picking Eldritch. Yeah, because, like, let's let let's be real. Like, there, like Eldritch is is the is like just it doesn't feel good to play against compared to other trap trap decks, right? Like, right. It feels like shit to play against Labyrinth. But like oh, at least start on that. <laughs> at, at least Labyrinth is like do it like like Sans Eradicator M Ep Epidemic Eradicator Virus Sans that. It's doing some pretty. It's 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 like it's like like the 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 gameplay style of that trap deck is more interesting, and certainly with trap tricks. Trap tricks is like one of the handful is like the only trap deck that like whose gameplay style is like interesting enough to both play and play against. That mm -hmm. like the scourge of like trap decks boring doesn't affect it. I would wait. I would feel the only thing that bothers me about trap tricks is the is like like it's such a cool deck and it's such a good beginner deck. Like an entry level deck for people, yeah. It's it's just how can I go to anybody, especially my girlfriend who I want to play, and say, "Here's a really good introductory deck," and she's like, "Why is it all sexualized children?" 
It's like it's like, have you ever been to a locals and then someone has an unironically with their whole fucking chest puts down a trap trick Sarah or 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 Miriam Mello fucking like Matt and and like and like you're looking at them like dog for real and they're and and, and they're just they have no idea what they did wrong and I'm like it's like what was it FBI open up like that type of shit like like like, like when it comes to um those sexualized play mats <clears throat> I'm like this. Like I'm a Shadal fan. One. I'm a Shadal fan. I can't ever bring any type of Shadal mat to fucking locals, or they're gonna think I'm a monster. Because exactly. Because like, of the like, shit they've the construct. <laughs> my thing with play mats is like, if you want to own one of those play mats, go for it. Just don't bring it outside. Like, keep that shit home with you and your homeboys. Don't, like, don't, don't bring don't it outside. Hide, don't put. Don't even show your homeboys. Just keep it. In a glass case, because you know it's a, that shit's important to these motherfuckers, and put it on in, in the bottom of your closet. So you're so when you die after ch when, when you die after choking on a taki while playing Master Duel at two o'clock in the morning, and they find your corpse, like there like there's a good chance that they'll sell the apartment before they ever before like they find it, and that's attributed to you. Yeah, because like the, the 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 craziest fucking thing I've seen out of locals, I shit you not. You know how people have like field centers and shit. Mm -hmm. Dude had a full on nude dark magician girl field center, like full, like everything exposed, nothing censored in the slightest. And I'm just looking like, did you really just put that on the table as you, in as front you, of as everybody? You, as you look ten feet to the left and you see the twelve year old and his mom who came to locals for funsies, and and, and then you see the shit right there. No, I'll, I'll say I'll say. Luckily that day, luckily that day there was no children present. But to still even do that, it's like, bro, I came to play cards. I ain't, I ain't come here to get horny, dude. Like, please, please put it away. <laughs> I, like I remember when I was at, I went to my first ever locals, and this was my first ever locals. And honestly, I don't think, I, like, I, unless I find a better one, I'm not going back. Like, mm -hmm. it was a locals, and like there were some kids, like some kid, like some you know, some twelve year olds there, like they came to like have some fun and shit, right? And like some kids came, and like the the fucking like six foot five, three hundred fifty pound shop owner had to come out from around the counter and yell, "Hey, watch your mouths! We got kids here." Mm -hmm. I hear y'all cuss again. If I hear somebody say, if I hear somebody cuss loud, like like it's like like say some heinous shit again, I'm kicking you out the fucking store. It's like that. Type, it's like it's like, and I will say I appreciate that energy, but I can't imagine. Like I feel like we. I feel like if somebody, like put that down in the like put that down with their whole chest, we'd have to fight. Yeah, exactly. Like, like it's like, like dudes. I'm like, like I'm like I'm like. This like I'm a grown adult. I like pussy. I like seeing naked women. But I'm not. But that not, not right now. Like like that. Like this is not the time or the place. Like did your parent? Did your mom not teach you when it was appropriate to whip your dick out or not? Or were you the one of those kids that would just be like Winnie pooing it up through the family function? <laughs> exactly, dude. <laughs> like some people are just very very unhinged when it comes to like being in public. Like they're just super unhinged with that shit. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm unhinged in public. I treat everybody like an NPC. I've, I'm, if I know I'm never going to see your face again, I'm a, I'm, I'm, I will be take solace in knowing that I will be the story you tell to your friends in VC tonight. Oh, you want to hear some wild shit I saw at work today? That I'm fine being that, but there's limits. Exactly, dude. <laughs> I don't know, like lo locals. Locals is like fucking weird. Like, I remember, like, um, did, did you see the video I posted like two days ago about like the creepy dude, like POV, you're a girl. You see that video? I you did. see, like I that did. video. That video was inspired by true events because, like, you know, I remember like my one friend who was a girl back in Atlanta. She went through that, like, next to me, and like, you know, I had to like stop dueling and be like, bro, like. Chill, chill out with that chill the fuck out so like i had to call my one friend on tiktok and be all like hey look i can't do a girl voice can you do it for me she has no idea how Yu Gi Oh works so i feed her the script on what to say <laughs> it's like the funniest conversation ever because she's all like how do i say this card's name i was like it's it's moye and long long 
we went through so many takes because I was like, you're not an anime character, just say it normally. Yeah. <laughs> it was so hilarious. Because it's like, here's, because it's like, like, I'm in the part of the online Yu-Gi-Oh community where all like, all like the gays and the bi's and the trans and all that, those fuckers are at. And the content's great because like, you know, the gay community makes great fucking content and, and regardless of where they are. But like, they all moved over to Blue Sky. Dog, if I swear to God, if I get a fucking invite code, I'm sending it to you. It's fucking great over there. What's, 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 what's Blue Sky? Blue Sky is basically like Jack Dorsey's like new Twitter alternative that basically is what Twitter was back in 2014, 15 before it all went to shit. Okay. And so it's Twitter, like, it's Twitter before Elon Musk grabbed. It's before, and it's Twitter before like all of the right wingers kind of came in and in, 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 in Lou. Um, it's mm-hmm. very much, it's very much like, and here's the thing because it's invite only. Mm-hmm. And 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 only people on it can invite other people, and so like a lot like so like there's very few like far right extremists on it. Therefore, like there's not people like posting like anti-Semitic racist shit. It's great, and because right. also those people don't make good content. They're not funny. No, they're so, not. <laughs> so it's like like if, if if like it's it's I I've I, like I don't use Facebook anymore for a reason. I'm not about to hurt family members' friend, feelings by unfriending them, but I'm just not going to use the fucking platform, you know? It's like, shit. <clears throat> my Facebook is only made just to piss people off at this point. Like, my Facebook <laughs> is literally like, it's, post, it's just posting memes and posting hentai. That's all it is. <laughs> That's all it is. I just use it just to piss people off. Yeah. Yo, know, I, I saw a really fucking a, a, a wonderful. It's like a definitely. It's an. It's a, yes, it's an isekai, but it's not what you think. It's it's very much like a, it's it's twelve chapters, done in mm-hmm. two volumes. I'll send you the link. You can read it all for free. It's wonderful. It's a great fucking um manga. It's 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 basically the premises is like thirty year old woman gets isekai right. And mm-hmm. instead of and instead of like going on a that big journey because she's a thirty two, thirty three year old woman, I'm not fucking doing that shit. She opens a book cafe instead and uses like the vast magic powers she got from God to like just make cute little sandwiches and shit and make a cozy environment. And it's a, and there's a cute little romance story like it, it introduced to. It's it's wonderful. It's done in twelve chapters. That's that, that sounds like that sounds like I'll get into. No, for real. And like it got the there's a second arc that they tried to do, but the. The run got canceled, but they they completed the first arc like on such a good note that you don't even really need to like entertain the idea of reading further, which is great. Mm-hmm. I'll send it to you after we're done. But um, but uh, back to like in like I I the the level like I had a not safe for work channel on my Discord for a while. Mm-hmm. I had to get rid of it. It was bad. <laughs> bad. I can imagine. I can imagine. It's because it's like, because it's like, like I feel like, I think, but it's like I, I didn't get rid of it because of anything that I or anybody else was posting was bad. I saw something that happened in a course bot in an associate's Discord of mine Mm -hmm. that just made me be like, I'm a nigga but before that happens, yeah, yeah. So I was like, in, 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 in like this is a you know bi- this is a, a bisexual Latino Latino girl. Like I met her she when she worked at the Walgreens across from my crib. Like she cool cool people. She plays Dead by Daylight. She's awesome. I love her. She's great. She she, she role play, she dresses up as like Jill Valentine or some shit like from Resident Evil and does like Resident Evil streams. She's cool. Um, mm-hmm. and her fucking not safe for work <laughs> channel. I, I I like I got a ping in it like because like have like on my my Discord going because I'm because I'm neurotic. Um, at about eight thirty in the morning on a Sunday. Yeah, on a Sunday of all things. Okay. On a Sunday morning, I just turn over, I wake up, I look through my notifications, I click the first one to get into the, and, uh, and without my consent, the first thing I see is just somebody's prolapsed asshole. And that was the moment I'm like, you know what? I got enough horny people and gay people and trans girls in my fucking Discord that I'm like, I'm just going to say no. We're not even going to entertain that prospect. 
<laughs> That's fucking hilarious. Yeah. Which brings us to card art. Why do you think? So why do you think that that? Well, so what do you think about uh, the Christian puritanical assholes in this country causing poor <clears throat> kids TV to make to take away all the the boobs and shit from Yu Gi Oh that were supposed to be in it? I don't like it, man. Like. I, I I fucking need I fucking need it, dude. Like I fucking like, need like, it. Like like sexualization of of women aside, which is like you know one thing. Like at the at the at the at the end of the day, it's like I I think I I think my, I'm more upset about it because it's like I don't think you know cards and shit like that should be sexualized because I don't want women's bodies to be considered commodities, right? Right. But it's like. But I also like don't want them to censor it because Christian snowflakes don't like want women to be like subservient and not promiscuous. Whatsoever. And then, like, like sometimes it's, it's, like the card art is censored because like, like the symbols. It was, it was like January six, right? It's like mm -hmm. I'm not against the common people trying to usurp and over and then kill like corrupt politicians, but. I'm not, but like, if a fascists are doing it, I'm not on board. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like it's 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 like it's like when you're it's like when you it's like when you uh it's like when you're when you're when you're a kid and like you do some shit to like try and get, like jockey your parents into buying you like four card packs or a video game or some shit, but like. They're mad, but they don't do it because, like, they like, but like, then they, they were, and they were thinking about it, but like, they don't want your parent, like, it's like a parent, like, not wanting to, like, reward a kid for, like, bad, for, like, doing something good, but with not the right intentions. That's, um, that's kind of my point. I'm sorry I took so long to explain. My bad. No, it, it's fine. Like, it, I, it's like, it's like, I get it. And then, like, someone like the censorship is, like, not even, like, because, like, the booze or whatever. But because of stuff like um, religious symbols, which I think is like kind of stupid. I, I will say the Monster Reborn we got is so much better than the OCG. Yeah, the, mon the Monster Reborn is pretty cool. Like it's <clears throat> it's fucking gorgeous. Oh, so but then like there's I, stuff like you know, like I, um, next to my social security card, I have in a plastic thing my copy of Monster Reborn from the original Joey deck. The, orig the original Joey deck was was it was it a secret rare back then or no? No, it wasn't. But it, but the number on it is the number on it is designation on it is from like the early two thousands, like Joey deck you would get. You better get that shit PSA graded, my guy, like ASAP. Oh, it's in shit condition. That shit went through the wash one time. It's bad. It's you can see, you can still see everything, but it's like it's 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 not it's not in good shape. It's not in good shape. I'm not that shit's gonna get a PS grade of a fuck you. Like it's not. And then and then also like another thing like with the card censorship. I kind of feel like, you know, like Konami, like I think they understand, like, you know, people in the West are older now and we can handle it. Right. The, but the player base I, of Yu-Gi-Oh! is so much older compared to what it's it old. was 20 years ago. But the reason but the reason why they're still censoring it is because it's a profit. Because look at what's been going on like the like the last like what? Yeah, they're, they're gonna, selling they're I've, selling the uncensored yeah. versions in like secret rare packages. Like, it's 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 a fucking thing. Like so it's all like Come on, guys! Like, do you, do you really got to do? It? And then, like, my thing is like this, right? If you're gonna make it a lost art promotion for me to buy more shit, which I don't mind doing, at least make the damn thing a secret. Vanilla? Or can it not be? Can at least, not be a at least make card, like, like make make it a fucking secret. Even if even if it's like the shittiest vanilla alive, just make it a secret. Make it shiny. Make it shiny. And it's all like, um, we did put some foil. Like, yeah, like, like it's like, yes, I did get foil. But I want the fucking I want the fucking um I can't think of the word. I want the diagonal glitter you know give you me the, the secret glitter, yeah yeah like and give that, me give me the glitter and that's, and that's kind of the thing one of the things I've noticed is like whenever I open a Yu Gi Oh card pack I'm getting like three or four cards with foil on them yeah like foil like here's the thing foil means absolutely nothing to me like you're you're gonna be so mad when you hear me say this oh no in dude, trust me <laughs> in Master Duel I have mm -hmm. one of every at least one of every single normal and rare uh, card. At least one. I'm about 40% of the way there on C on super rares. Mm -hmm. And and every single time that I get like I jet like I get a um like and any time every time that I get like a bunch of like a, of a card I'll always decon the non the, the, the I'll always decon the foil and super rare and secret and like the foil cards. I, I 
No, I'm like I'm like the opposite. Like if I'm gonna play a deck, I make all of like the cards that I you, can you, afford. You, you like, want to be drippy. Iron. Yeah, like I gotta be drippy. Like if if I if I had the UR dust and the SR dust, I would make everything shiny. But it's all like I can make the normals and rares Pick shiny. Battles. Pick your battles. <laughs> Pick your battles. <laughs> nah, I'm just like like my friend's dead ass had an intervention with me a couple weeks ago. Saying you've been mm -hmm. spending way, you you spend way too much money on Yu-Gi-Oh Master Duel, and I'm like I I I LARP it up that it's an addiction like but it's like well, I don't spend more than two fifty a month on it. And they're like you spend two hundred and fifty dollars a month on Yu-Gi-Oh Master no. Duel. <laughs> it's it's funny how Master it's funny how people always like saying like spending money on Master Duel is like bad and so like realistically. Realistically speaking, fifty bucks more, on Master Duel can board. buy. Yeah, like like fifty bucks on Master Duel can buy you a meta deck, like not even bullshitting. And fifty thing, bucks is meta deck. It, it fifty bucks meta deck, and for me personally, I like I've just I don't decon, and I, I I always keep at least one copy of every single card. Mm -hmm. So it's like I always, I spend a little bit more than you know what I mean. So, but like even so, it's just like. Like fuck, dude. Like I, 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 I don't know. It's like I think I, I remember trying to get my invoke should all deck built, and I want to remind you, this deck is like tier three at best, mm -hmm. at best. Like I, 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 I like flu. I got hit. I got hit with flu and PK fire when I went to locals. Immediately folded. I couldn't do shit. And <laughs> and. This deck cost me legit damn near three hundred dollars. Mm -hmm. It cost me. It cost me. It cost me. It cost me a hundred and twenty dollars for the two invocations. The rest of the package was basically fucking nothing. I think Mechabo was like nine dollars, but that was about it. It cost me damn near a hundred for a Verte, and then it cost me like another. And then it cost me like thirty some dollars for the should all structure decks. Man, I actually got mad when I pulled Verte just for it to get banned a week after. I can imagine. <laughs> like, I saw, like, it's like, you want to know what made me kind of, like, right off the TCG? Like, I'm the, the, the Invoke Should All deck that I built was, like, kind of like a half-baked version. I was still missing, like, I was still, miss, I was still missing um, the, the Kaiju engine. I was still missing DPE. I was still missing um, Barone. You know, and so I, 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 actually, I, I look, actually got I look, lucky with Baron. Yeah, I, 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 well, I mean, like, I, I, I bought the set Barone was in. I just got nothing but fucking like tier. No, like I, I, I have a buddy tier. Like I have a buddy. Dog shit at the game. Dog shit at the game. But for some fucking reason, this man understands the coding for like products i don't know how he does it but he understands the coding for products right mm -hmm. and like people hate when he goes by products because like he's always like i don't want that box i want that box right there right and they're just always like you know but every time he gets the box that he wants it's always something fucking good and i'm just like how the hell do you fucking do it and he's all like oh i just studied how to map the um shit and he's all like oh, you oh, studied how to map He's one of those fucking really smart people, like if they, where he's just like able to hold lots of numbers in his brain and shit. Yes, like every every time. And he shit at every, the game. Shit at the shit at the game, but he understands mapping. He understands mapping like crazy, and like when we bought the set that that Baron was in, right? Like he's just all like, "Okay, um, we're gonna buy a set before we leave," right? And I'm like, okay, cool. Like, he's like, are you sure we're going to get Baron? He's like, yeah, because like they bought the set last week and only three people has bought it. So the pack on top has Baron in it. And I'm all like, you're full of shit. He's all like, all right, bet. He buys the, he buys the first pack, right? Like the first box. We open it. Baron the Fleur. I'm like, how? How, how do you fucking know this? Law of average. I think. How do you know? I, I think is he was he like a giant math guy in school, like statistics and shit. I don't know because like I was like a grade higher than him, so we didn't have any of the same classes, but we had lunch together. 
That's like that. That just reeks of like like knowing statistics and being able to rip shit off in your head by heart. Yeah, because like every time he buys like a mega tin, right? Like he knows exactly what tins to buy. Because like I remember, like he got pot of prosperities within a week from just buying tins because like he knew which tins to hit. So he was so, like the wait, he look at like the serial number or something. I don't know what the fuck he does. Like he just like like. Like this, basically, like this man will go to a locals, right? Doesn't matter which locals it is. Like he will look at all the products, and he would like just like count how many boxes there are, and he would just go like, okay, if this is brand new, and if this many people has bought it, this box probably has it. So he just goes in. I want this box, and I want the box on top, and he gets it right. Boxes are always full of good shit, and I'm like, I don't know how the fuck you do it. But the boxes is, is, are always is, full of. Is, is, is he? Do you, do you? Do you just hand him your money and say, "Just buy my shit yes, for me"? Yes. Like, yes. Yes. Fuck yes. <laughs> yes. Fuck yes. Yes. That's like, what you gotta do. That's like, like ev ev every every friend. time. Every time I go to locals with this man, every time I go to locals with this man, right? <laughs> I always give him my shit. money. Yeah, and then he and then like also like I I I like I think this is I think this is a theory. Like I don't I don't believe in any gods. But if I had to believe in a god, I'm, I'm guessing there is a Yu-Gi-Oh god out there in the sky that blesses bad players. Because every time this man goes to, like, locals, right, and buys, like, his entry pack, he's, like, nine times out of ten, he gets an OTS. Nine times out of ten. And I'm like, how do you keep getting OTSs? And in my entire life, I've only pulled one. <laughs> Honestly, when I honestly when I got my entry packs, I just says, "Hey, listen, you, I just want any. I, listen, take take whatever you want out of here. I just want shit that's ritual related. If you got pre prep of rights or shit like that, I'll take it." And like mm -hmm. it was like it was the, it was like the Makako cards and shit like that. Oh, I'm I'm still trying to get those cards. Because because here's the thing, it's like people were hyping them up when they were first announced. Like they're oh, they're, and I read the cards and I looked at them and I'm like, this this shit's it's gonna be cool. But this shit ain't gonna be like some super valuable meta threat. Give me one second. I gotta steal my phone charger from my niece before my phone dies. And you're good. I'm gonna pause up. this and I'm gonna go take a piss myself. All right, all right, cool. So one of the things I was kind of wanted to talk to you about because I know you like only really play a lot of meta decks and stuff. So I'm curious. Um, if you if I if you had to, um, because here's because like I because like. I, I would wager that you take some level of of enjoyment out of build craft. Mm -hmm. You know, it's um I'm curious. I know that um in my up in like one of my uh, upcoming um I know I know that like I'm in the, in the in a week from now I've got my next tournament. But I'm curious like they are not meta threats, but what are some archetypes that mechanically, just the way they play, that you really fuck? They they can't they can't have been meta in the past, or they've never been meta before. But what are some like decks that you have that you that archetypes that you kind of enjoy how they play mechanically that you would want to build that you would build a deck around if they had any fucking chance of winning, or you were in a format where the ceiling was lowered and they had a shot? I know Fright Furs is one. I know Fright Furs is one. Actually, Fright Fur isn't one for me, to be quite really? honest. Yeah, like, the thing is, like, if, as much as I enjoy playing it, it's not one of the decks I would actually look at to play in, like, a low ceiling tournament. But, for sure, I would say Ghost Tricks. You, yeah, I remember you talking about that. And we were, I remember during a live of yours, we were talking about, like, just, like, like the archetypes that we love, like, the things that, the one, like, a couple cards that they would need to, like, be useful in today's day and age. Yeah. Because it's like, I've, I've, I saw someone post a ghost trick list that was literally just exceed spam with one ghost trick monster in the main deck. And a couple in the extra. It's mm -hmm. sad. It's rough. Like, it it's, tough, it's tough out here for flip decks. And, like, the thing, the thing, like, I, the thing with ghost tricks that, like, I kind of, like, missed out on was, like, I started getting good with ghost tricks after Master Roll 4 came to be, where it's, like, when Lynx and shit came out. And Which I'm just, like, yeah, and, like, looking back at it, right, I'm, like, at the time when I start, at the time when I first picked up ghost tricks, I want to say at the time Cyber Dragon Infinity was the meta, I think. And I'm just like, theoretically speaking, the way I was playing Ghost Tricks, 
well, now in Master Rule 4, theoretic, theoretically speaking, if I would have figured this out back then, I've could have, I've could have like topped, <laughs> unironically, because like you know like I I figured out how Cyber Dragon plays. I figured out all the meta of it, right? And the thing like with Ghost Tricks is like once you get them flipped face down and like hit them with the lock, they're forced to just go face down. And since most people like don't see Ghost Tricks, like they don't know how to like really counter it for real. And I'm and I, I was kind of mad about that. It's like fuck. The like like the one time I could have taken them to a YCS and probably done good with them, I missed the opportunity. Now that's never gonna happen ever again. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like like I there was a period where like just after like just after toss, mm -hmm. and like there was a period just after toss format, and just before like master duel came on, like there was a six month period. Where I had like, just I had like a, a, a my shit all build was like stellar, and I was like racking up wins on Edo Pro. I was beating beat motherfuckers' ass. It was great. Like the un, like being un, like it was just a period of like no more Master Rule Four, Master Rule Five, and I'm just having like I'm just ending with like three shit all fusions and multiple trap. Like I'm killing it. But then, like, you know, everybody caught up. And you started seeing PK Fire. You started seeing Dragon Link come, making a resurgent, but it's not just Dragon Link anymore. It's, it's Dragon Pile, because it's fucking everything. And it's just, it, it was, it was, I realized that the deck that I was running, uh, you know, it wasn't that my Shadal deck was good, Invoke Shadal deck was good. It was that I knew it. I I I knew I I was able to adjust to the master rule change better, and at the time than a lot of other people were because I knew the deck so well, mm -hmm. and it and it was just and it's like I, like it, I'll never get that again. You know what I mean? Like like the the change see, from ironic. master rule four to five was five was just like a huge thing. Unironically, Dragon Link is one of those decks where it's like it'll never truly die unless you hit the right cards for it. Because like every time like a new dragon card gets printed, theoretically speaking, Dragon Link just got new support. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like for me, it's like I the Winston Cup has like well, I I I hit Dragon Link hard. Like I like I like I like and it, it was by banning entire archetypes. I banned the Boral archetype. I didn't mm -hmm. ban rocket. I didn't ban rockets. Rockets can stay. Rockets are fine because it's like it's not the rocket monsters that are the problem. It's the Boral monsters. <laughs> it's the Borals, yeah. <laughs> It's, I banned the Borals. I banned Guard Dragon Pisty, because that's a great extender. Um, and I banned, I think, a couple, and I think I banned, like, a couple of the Chaos cards. Like, or I think. Like, if, if and, and if somebody shows up to my, and I would maybe encourage you to give it a shot, and see, like, help me fucking see what else gotta get banned to, like, get, kill that fucking deck. Um, like, maybe I'll fucking ban, like, but even that, like I say, maybe I could ban Red Eyes Darkness Dragon, but also, like, who gives a shit? Red Eye Starkest Dragon got an errata. So it's not, like, as broken as it used to be. It's not as broken as it used to be, but, like, it's it's, it's dangerous to see in fucking Dragon Link. That's for fucking sure. I, I treat it as kind of like a, oop, jump scared. Because it's, like, I, I remember what it was like <laughs> when it wasn't errata and they had, people had one of those bitches in their deck. <clears throat> I think I think the scariest deck I've ever made was Sky Strike the Runic. <laughs> Like that that shit was scary. And like I was still like the... I, I, I was I did not build mine version great, but I, I ran it during I ran it during a meta sheep event of the Winston Cup where it's just we get rid of the ban list and we just play with Master Duel's ban list. And mm -hmm. I had fun I had fun with it. I got fucked by a D barrier, but but for but like it was fun. No, uh, like was the a... last real tournament I did was like a Facebook tournament. Um I really hated the ban list because, like, it was casual ban. And it's like I, I get it, it's casual ban list, right? But the bans were like so stupid. Like they banned whole archetypes that aren't even meta relevant. They put every hand trap to one, and it's like, really? Why? The, the only yeah, hand trap like, I put only hand trap I put to one was Max C. Yeah, and like I'm over here, like Ash Blossom at one is fucking is fucking cringe. 
So yes. like, you know, I'm playing Fluffles, right? So the first the first round I lose, I go to loser's bracket because like the guy I'm playing, he had the miraculous Ash and the miraculous Maxi on his on his turn one and turn two, right? Oh, so it's like fuck, fuck it. I'm I'm in loser's bracket, right? So from loser's bracket, I had to climb from losers back to championship bracket, which I did. Fucking right? clutch devil over here. Yeah, but I ended up losing the championship to fucking um to Amazonius. Because, like, Fluffles doesn't have an out to Amazonas Floodgate, right? Yeah, and, like, like, I'm looking Amazonas at... Amazonas is such a fucking... Wild, like, it, it was just originally a beatdown deck. Now it's just, like, 5k beaters and you can't do shit to get rid of them. Yeah. And, like, and like, the thing is, like, I was kind of mad about it. Because, like, looking at the ban list, right? Like, the ban list stated no Floodgates. And I'm over here, like, I'm not trying to be a sore loser over here. But, like, How what are we defining a as a Floodgate? Yeah, like, like I, I would, yeah, like you're, if you're going to say no floodgates, you need to be definitive. Like you, you can't just say no floodgates. You have to actually define. Like I, the spirit of my thing is generally no floodgates, but like yeah. there's a difference between a skill drain and should all window. Yeah, you know, it's like there's a difference between like a cards that prevent you from doing anything. And cards that, like, restrict you. Like, exactly. restrictions are fine. But, like... Who the fuck decided IO was a good deck to... Was a good card to print? Who thought that was a good idea... That card was a good idea to bring out of any ban list? I don't know. Like, it's so <laughs> fucking stupid. Like, and here's the thing. I, I have a particular hatred for, I, for Imperial Order. Because I play a deck that only has 13 monsters in it dude in the tell main me about deck. it I, I i play strikers i have i i you you know like it's like i my should all deck literally has like 13 14 monsters in it and the rest are just spells and five traps i can do exactly fuck and all over the course of three turns with io on the field yeah because i'm over here like when i'm playing strikers when i'm against io I better hope I have MST like in hand. If not, I'm I'm fucked. Like the reason why Eldritch was so fucking powerful was it could run Skill Drain and IO on the field, no problem, with zero consequences. No, you also you also figured out they also they, they all they also ran um What's that fucking it's this don't want the fucking samurais on it. Evenly um, no, no, Rive Real Warlords. They ran that. Oh yeah, that one's fucked. Yeah. And like Rive Real against Strikers, it's all like I can't go Warrior into Machine, so I'm fucked. <laughs> so, like that, like that's such a such a rulings bullshit move. Like there's sh like there should have been like some other like like I don't understand why they thought like that was a good ruling to have for that card. Right? Like, if it's the only monster on the field, you can you can swap out for something else. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, like, like that, that that makes more sense to me. But no, we're 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 just gonna sit here and watch you combo off with your fucking mono deck, and now I'm just gonna get screwed. Yeah, I'm gonna get murdered. <laughs> yeah. So like, yeah, that, that one tournament, I'm just all like. I ain't trying to be a sore loser because, like, you know, congratulations to the guy who won with Amazonas. But, like, when you say no floodgates, like, please define what you mean by floodgates because yeah. Amazonas has a floodgate in there. <laughs> yeah, and it's like there's so many, like, there's t over 10,000 cards in the card pool. You think I'm really going to, you think I'm really going to, like, pick Gravity Bind and add that to the ban list? Like, come on. Yeah. Yeah, so it's like, please, like, be like more definitive of what a floodgate is. Listen, if an archetype like 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 Amazonas or Gravekeepers rely on a specific type of floodgate for their entire game plan, like Necro Valley is a powerful card. Don't get me wrong. Necro Valley is fucking stupidly strong. But it dies to MST. Yeah. Like it. Like it's like. There's like there's nothing like like you can like you can get like if you if, if, unless your deck is like 
tier where it's like his entire shenanigan is completely based around. But even then, like, if I'm playing Gravekeepers, right? And mm-hmm. I and I and I and I have the board, the following board, right? Supernaturalists towers that three thousand three K towers that protects fucking Necro Valley, the Necro Valley. One counter spell and maybe the special summon prevention. Like dead ass. I'm like you. You can like any mo- most modern decks can get around that. Like unless it's like like tier like cash tier could fuck me up. Yeah, cash cash tier is getting around that. It's all like oh no graveyard. Okay, well, banish. Like yeah, I think the funny thing, the funniest thing that happened yesterday. I'm playing. In the ladder, I'm playing Cash Tira, mm-hmm. and on a special summon of Unicorn, the dude decides to throw out um, Dimensional Shifter, and I'm just like, you realize this deck banishes, right? <laughs> like Shifter is not gonna hurt me here, but go for it, I guess. Well, like he, man, had, man, man hadn't played for three months. He yeah, and I'm just over here not. like. I'm over here like the only thing that you probably hurt in my hand was like the haveness, but like at this point, I can just send haveness to like banish top three and hope it's a cash. So I still don't care. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I just pulled up Instagram and I just saw your fucking uh your dumb <laughs> fuck thing where it's like, bro, I can't do this again. I'm not strong enough. Bro, it's literally a <laughs> literally a children's card game. <laughs> Oh lord, where do you? How do you come up with your meme ideas and shit for this? I'm I'm just a natural memer. That's all it is. I can tell. <laughs> like, like I remember Professor Blue, our our mutual associate and friend. Uh, like he was like he 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 saw me on your live, and he te- was texting me losing his shit. Because mm-hmm. <laughs> he's like. And he's like, oh my, look, oh my god, he's so mean. He gets so angry when people are dueling and stuff. <laughs> I'm like, this guy, he's chilling. I'm chilling. Like, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> no, I don't. He, I don't, he, I don't he, didn't, he didn't mean he didn't he didn't mean it in like any derogatory <laughs> thing or whatever. Obviously, it was, he was just like, of was course, like, I, I trust. I, I know who he is. Yeah, he's a love. Oscar's a love bug. He's a sweetheart. <laughs> Like man, it's 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 just funny because like um, me and my friends we have like our own separate chat just for us. Mm-hmm. We post like the most unhinged yeah, things you would yeah. ever hear from humans, and we're just like, you're like yeah, like you fuck yourself. Like me, me and my friends, like if if people think I'm mean to them, you don't understand how mean I am to my friends, and we just still love each other. Like I tell my friends no, daily, that, like hey, that you should kill ha- yourself. That is male affection. That is ha- that is male affection. Like I will, I will, I will, I will, I will hug my my best my friends and say I love you, bro. And and then not fifteen minutes later, I will make a comment about their hairline. That's exactly how it goes. Like, bro, why? Like, why is your shit? Why is your shit feeding back like this? Like, and the, and, well, yeah, the, like... and then and then they'll say to me, and then they'll say to me. Uh, Columbine called. They're still looking for you. <laughs> that? And then, like, also, like, um, like, what's like, um, Discord's like the Discord I was in last time, right? Like, I, I guess I do come off as a dick because, like, I kind of am a dick in real life. You know, like, it's, it's kind of who I am. I guess, mm-hmm. like, maybe I should tone it down some, but like, it's just kind of who I am. But like, mm-hmm. I know what levels to stop it at. You know, oh, and like you know, now sometimes. You miss yeah. you misjudge, and you're like, oh, ma-, like you think the level's higher than it really is, and then mm-hmm. you know some apologies must be made, and like you know just like the conversations, like some people cool off. Period. Eh, I fucked up that friendship, whatever. Like, the, yeah, but by and large, like we we keep <laughs> yeah. the we keep we keep the like unhinged behavior to relative. To a like we we keep it to a degree. You keep it to so, a like, degree. So like you know like when I'm like in a Discord, like you know talking about like Yu Gi Oh and stuff, right? Like people think I come off as, like, an elitist, right? Because, like, the, the one thing that annoys me mm-hmm. is when people ask me for help with a deck, and I give them the help, and they don't take it. And I guess the reason Reminds why it annoys me... you told like, me a couple days ago. Yeah, and, like, the reason why it annoys me because, like, I'm viewing it as I'm viewing my old self. Because my old self was just, like, I'm gonna ask you for help and say no to it. 
So when I'm doing it for someone else, it's all like, do you want my help or not? Because like there's this one guy who was playing um, an emancipators on Master Duel, right? I used to play an emancipators on Master Duel because like I said beforehand, like I've played every single meta. Yeah. I've played every single meta in Master Duel, right? So I'm like, okay, yeah, I can help you with emancipators, right? So I give him my old deck list build, right? Which is like just a pure like hate, which is like pure like just oppressive, right? Right. And he's all like, I don't want to play it this way because like I want my opponent to have fun. And like, I never understood the concept of I want my opponent to have fun. Yeah. And I'm over here like, are you playing casually or are you playing in the ladder? Like, what are we doing? And he's all like, I'm playing in the ladder. If you're playing in the ladder, you shouldn't care if your opponent yeah, is trying to. You, 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 yeah, fuck them. Like you, you, like if you're playing in the ladder, like you gotta, you know, if you want to get higher up, you're like, it doesn't matter how much fun your opponent's having. Like the only thing, like, are you having fun, and is are you gonna win? Like my, like, yeah. the only the only time I think it's okay for like you to like not on ladder for you to like not go prioritize winning is if it's just so fucking unfun that if you could just remove one aspect of it and replace it with something else and you're having a better time go for it my my moderator dust he is running his own a special blend of uh amazement and labyrinth mm -hmm. and he doesn't run eradicator epidemic virus because it's not fucking right. fun for him to play it's like it's 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 it's, it's like Yes, it's an instant win button, but like also, there's more interesting things that the deck can do to also equally fuck your opponent. Like I was playing um, a high, a, like a high build of Generator, and mm -hmm. you know Generator, it's a chewy ass deck. Like it can, chew th so <laughs> it can chew through basically almost anything. I was not able to chew through his shit. And the only, and now granted, I probably would have won if I didn't lose the timeout, but like, that's an aspect of it. Like he was just, he was just, a, had an interaction for every fucking thing I did. There was nothing I could do. And we ended the duel because I lost the duel because of timeout. That's just because mm -hmm. he was able to like, like he was able to have like a response to every fucking thing I did that made it impossible for me to just bink, bink, knock his ass out. Yeah. yeah, so, like, you know, when it comes to, like, you know, saying, like, because my thing is, like, you know, if you want your opponent to have fun, that's fine. Do it in casual. Cool, yeah. But, like, but, if like, you're doing it on ladder, like, think about it this way, because, like, the person you're playing with on ladder, do you think they care if you're having fun? They don't fucking care if you're having fun. No. They're, like, that person is there for the same reason why you're here, to win. Exactly. Like, now, that's what now, they're here for. Now, I'm curious... Obviously not on lo not in locals because like that's how you're liable to get into a fight. Mm -hmm. But what do you feel about like chat features and simulators and like the trash talk and shit with it? Because I'm personally of the mindset that I'm a fuck you. Mm -hmm. All I'm all I'm I, saying I, is I, 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 I don't need to talk shit because I'm better than you. <laughs> No, you see, like, if Master Duel had voice chat, I'll probably be it on my be sixth. So right now. fucking toxic. It'd be so fucking toxic. <laughs> because I'm one of those people where it's all like, not all, like, you see, this is how I am when it comes to like competitive games, especially in Overwatch and Siege. Oh, not no. only am I gonna beat, not only am I gonna beat you, not only you're am gonna, I gonna do that. You're gonna, you're gonna make I'm you talk you're gonna shit make to you. Cry. I'm gonna talk shit to you as I do it. So. <laughs> I would be on my sixth account right now. Like I'll be, I'll be in the duels doing a full on tier combo. Like your dog shit. Stop. Pack it up. Like <laughs> that'd be me. Nah, I get it. <laughs> I, I, I will say, like I was dog shit in so many games for so long, then was on the receiving end of that. That when I finally got good enough, I kind of like took the road of like people who are absolutely fucking better than me. Of just mm -hmm. like. I'm gonna just let my skill speak for itself. Just because I remember being treated like dog shit, you know, and I don't know. It's like, um, un unless you're like, you know, unless the person fucking activates Numeron Network or Normal Summons Inspector Border, I really don't give a shit. Now, you see, like, 
Because like, um, I, probably... I feel like there's certain there's certain actions that you can in decks you can play in Yu-Gi-Oh that I think it's justified for you to verbally mm -hmm. abuse that. I would say like um probably unpopular take, but I feel like shit talking to some degree is a level of skill. This is I, this is why I say I'm, I'm inclined to agree with that. This is why I say this, right? Because like I've I've played games. Not, I'm not even talking to Yu-Gi-Oh. I've played games mm -hmm. where people are just downright better than me, right? But because I talk so much shit and just throw them off their game, they tend to fuck up because they're now even more pressured to like you know like really shut me up, right? And because they want to shut me up, they're starting to get sloppy with their combos, which I capitalize on, and I just keep on with the shit talking. And the more matter you get, the more you get sloppy. Yeah. And so, like, hey, if you can't keep your emotions in check, you're, you're going to lose to someone who's worse than you. Yeah, I, I get how that. I, the only reason I'm like not fully on board with that as like a, as like a, a strategy, personally, like obviously it works. I'm not denying that. I just also think about like community health, mm -hmm. you know, op optics, deck turtle to get in new players and stuff. Like, you know, it's like we like we can. Us Yu-Gi-Oh and Magic players can only can only hope to be perceived as good as Ma as po as, as the Pokemon community. Do you know how oh, the Pokemon people... community? It's it's, yeah. it's too nice for me, so I can't do I, it. I get it, but you want to know how much it costs to play the 2021 um Worlds deck if you wanted to buy it and play it yourself? It's, it's cheap. Like, I know it's... it was like twenty six dollars. It's it's insane. Yeah. Because like, like, um... like like I think the same year like the Worlds deck for Yu Gi Oh was like six hundred bucks. But granted. Oh, like for, for the for the magic deck you have to add a zero onto that Yu-Gi-Oh figure because <laughs> like my thing like, like when it comes to like um, competitive play mm -hmm. when it comes to competitive play like I, I look for communities that are toxic because like competitiveness is in my blood right wow. and i'm attracted to the toxicity and if a community is like just way too nice i i can't vibe with it because i don't want to like you know throw off the vibes and Pokemon, the vibe is too nice for me. So it's so all like, I'm gonna let you guys do what y'all do. If I do play Pokemon, it might be casually, but I can't do it competitively because, like, I don't want my toxic behavior to, like, you know, throw off the vibes of the community. Like, you guys don't want right. that. So I'm not gonna do that for you guys. But if this community is just as toxic, if not more toxic than Yu Gi Oh!, I'm fucking all over that shit. Like, oh, you guys are talking shit over here? I'm coming along, bro. I'm coming I, along. Yeah, I get where you're coming from. For me, I I personally like I am very much of the like I'm cool for like talking shit with your friends and shit and like in like in the community and joking. But like when it comes to like a one v one kind of like competitiveness, I'm I, I'm like weird. Like I'm weirdly chivalric, you know. In a way, it's like personally, it's like mm -hmm. unless you do some like heinous shit, I'm generally like let's just let the cards lie and speak for themselves metaphorically like like i'm very much like this with smash like i damn i did i fucking paused the game and got in somebody's face for shit talking me in the middle of a smash uh, a smash competition i said listen if you if you want to talk shit like that put it into the fucking game otherwise we're gonna have a fucking problem and here's the thing i'm a, like th like this like i'm like a i'm like six foot one six foot two i, I wear boots so i got an extra inch like and i'm like 270 pounds like i'm i'm, I'm big as shit right like I, I don't need to fight you to win. I can just sit on your chest. Like it's not like it's not even. <laughs> yeah. So it's, so it's like it's like but it's like they got like yo it's part of the game and I'm like if you you are obviously better than me. Why do you feel the need to shit talk me? <laughs> like you you like you would only need to shit talk if I was beating your ass. Now we were pretty close. I play little Mac. You play a. I play Little Mac. You play a character that juggles Little Mac like a fucking jester. Do you oh, you play Little Mac. I play Little. I love Little Mac. I got a. I've got a fucking mean ass Little Mac. He's a little fucker. He'll beat your you ass. Know, I'm not. I'm not much of a Smash player, but I did enjoy Smash Ultimate. Can Can you guess who my main character is before I say it? King K. Roll. Mr. Pyro. That's not as toxic as it could be. 
No, because like, because like, there's there's more friend, toxic. There, there's so many toxic characters in that game. Like, I think like like um, what's her fucking name? Um, the angel chick from the Pitman, pick uh, from the uh, Pitman series, from the uh, Kid Icarus series. Uh, oh, Pauline. Pauline, yeah. I like she's fucking obnoxious to fight against. Like, she's such so hard to play, but once you figure her out, like you're just you're just doing the most heinous shit on the planet to people. Yeah, like when it comes to fighting games, like I always have this tendency to always pick the most technical character by accident. Mm -hmm. Because the way fighting games do it's like they make the prettiest woman the most technical character. And me, I am the waifu player. Like, I'm, like, I'm going to find the prettiest girl on the roster. It's like, oh, she's the main. Oh, she's the main? You know, she's the most technical character. It's like, are you dead ass? So, like, I'm just playing. I'm, 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 surpri I'm surprised you didn't play Bayo. I, I started with Bayonetta. Then I switched over to Mithra Pyra. And I just yeah, loved her. And just let me let me guess, because you have, a, you have a redhead and a blonde for the price of one. No, it wasn't that. Like, um, I, I just, I just tried it, and like, I just liked her combos a lot better. And I was just I like, see, oh I shit. That. Pyra's got some, does some fun shit. Yeah, because like, cause, like and the way, also, the way and, I and also Mithra's Pyra, side B is crazy. The way I play Mithra Pyra is like, I play Mithra. I, I play like, um, I, I don't like like names for real. Like, I think Mithra's the blonde hair one, right? Or Zero is that Pyra? Zero Suit Samus is the blonde. Chip I'm talking like the yeah, Mithra Pyra combo, like, um, the blonde hair. Green sword, that's Smith, right? Yes, I think, so. I, think, I, I think I think it's I think Pyra is the one with fire. Yeah. So basically, the way I set it up is like I use Mithra as the attacker, like she's like the main attacker, right? And like once I get you like in the trap, I use I switch over to Pyra to like just set up trap plays. So it's so like if you're in the air, Pyra throw the circle, or like if you're at the ledge, throw the circle. But then like if you're like you know out of the trap, I just go back to Mithra because she's like faster, and like just keep on like this out like just outspeeding you. The two, I think the two, that's awesome, and I will say that the two most characters I've seen people do the most heinous shit with, exactly, are, are Steve from Minecraft, and oh, Steve is, King, and Steve is toxic. Hearts. He's so fucking Steve. toxic. I was, like, <laughs> like, it was... And it's really funny, because, like, I play, I play Street Fighter a lot, mm -hmm. and I, I play Chun-Li heavy, and, like, Street Fighter is like one of those fighting games where it's all like I can only play one character. Like other fighting games, I can probably like play more. But when it comes to Street Fighter, if I don't if I don't have Chun Li, it looks like I've never played Street Fighter a day in my life. <laughs> That's what it looks like if I don't use Chun Li. I don't know yeah. how it works, but how it works. Yeah, I'm I'm I, I, I can pick up most characters in Smash and like beat a casual person relatively easily but like mm -hmm. i'm going against someone who like knows all, like i'm at the level in smash and smash is the only fighting game i play by the way i've played none others i have zero interest and like for me it's like i'm at the level with smash that i'm not gonna win evo or even place an evo but i could also kick everybody's ass at a random party yeah I'm, I'm kind of like that, that, that too. That's, that's, where that's kind of where I'm at. You know what I mean? It's like, like some. I'm, I'm not gonna Smash... take it. Yeah, it's like, do I? Do I? Someone asked me to play. Do I accept and kill the fucking vibe? Like, because it's like no. that. Because that. Because like, like I'm. Because I'm a fucking people pleaser. It's like I know you would probably be like, oh, everybody's getting trans. I'm. A, I, 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 you know what? I'm gonna play stupid. I'm gonna hustle these people. Like. Like, which I mean, like I would probably you, do like that you, shit. you are talking to a guy. You were talking to a guy who took his buddies. What's that fucking deck? Dra I, I I took my buddy's Dragon Ruler deck to a Toys R Us. This is who you're talking to. <laughs> literally, just stealing candy from babies. Quite literally. Hey, 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 free free packs or free packs, my guy. Free packs are free packs. You are not incorrect <laughs> about that. And speaking of, but Dragon not like Ruler, speaking of Dragon. Ruler, continue. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Oh, I'm sorry, but um, I'll say like the one time a kid at locals pissed me off. I know I've told you the story, but I'm gonna do, say it on do, YouTube. Do it for my audience, yeah. This this is how this kid pissed me off, right? So like before tournament started, he's all like, "Hey, let's play Yu-Gi-Oh." He's like, you know, anime like anime rules. Sure, I'll play anime rules with you, right? Before tournament starts, of course. Tournament starts, that shit's off the table. So. You know, we're playing, 
I'm playing Sky Striker. He's like playing some anime god deck, right? I beat him. I'm the kind of person before I report my wins, I count my deck to make sure everything is in there. I put in my deck box and I clean up my area, right? Go to the judge and I'm all like, hey, I just got my game. Judge goes, really? It's like, yeah, you put me up against a seven-year-old. And he's all like, oh, he just told me he won. And I'm all like, me, who usually comes in third or fourth place, loses. Okay, pal. And the locals I went to, right? Like, they didn't do it where it's all like, you know, like, um, only first and third place got packs. Like, as long as you won a game, you get a pack regardless, right? Okay, actually, so that's really cool, I, actually. That's cool. Yeah, it, it is cool. Because, like, so like, I get my... like, only people who are dog shit, like, truly dog shit, aren't going to win a single game. Yeah, you're good. Like, so, like, I thought it was pretty cool, right? So, like, you know, I get my two packs. Should have been three packs because I beat the kid, but I get my two packs. But the kid gets my one pack, right? And I'm all like... It's whatever. He can have my pack. He's a seven-year-old, like... Yeah, I get that. He, 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 he can have the, my pack. Did he have the nerve to talk shit? No. He had the nerve to pull the fucking starlight. And I'm all like... Fuck this kid. So then, like, the next tournament we go to, right? I'm paired up with him again, right? And I just go straight all out, just bam, bam, bam. Like, I just get rid of this fucking kid, right? I fucking made him cry. Like, that's how bad I beat him. And I'm just all like, I'm just can't all like, don't judge. lie. Can't run to the, don't lie to the fucking judge this time, kid. No, like, I, I made sure I beat him to the point where he cried so people knew I beat him. And people were just all like, dude, like, why'd you go so hard? And it's like, this nigga took my Starlight Zeus that, that was obviously mine. It was a Zeus? It was a Starlight Zeus. Oh, yeah, fuck that kid. I'm sorry. Yeah, Listen, fuck I'm, that kid. I, I'm all for children of the future. Like, coddle them a little bit, especially when they're under 10. Like, I, 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 like you, 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 like, I'm very empathetic. He took this kid lied to the judge and got a Starlight Zeus. That should have been yours. That should have been, yes. I'm just like, no, fuck this kid. Like, he, he's going down. He, he's going down. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was like the second kid I made cry in my in my history of going to locals. Like the first kid I made cry, I was playing um, I was playing Trickstar Wind Witch, and like this was like my first God, meta that's deck. A, that that's a fuck that that's a fucking throwback. Jesus Christ. Yeah, that th th this 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 was my very first meta. Like this is my first meta deck ever. Like before I got Strikers. Right? So I'm over here flexing my deck because like you know that's what I'm doing right. I didn't need to do this, but I did it anyways. I summoned two crystal wings on this kid with a firewall dragon. <laughs> and I'm just looping this guy. I'm negating this. He's not he's not playing Yu-Gi-Oh. And he's just like, I just want to play the games. Like, I'm sorry. Do something. He's like, okay. Activate, negate. <laughs> and he just starts crying. <laughs> and my friend's like, dude, like, he really is like, I'm sorry, but like. I got two crystal wings on the board. Like I'm gonna do it. <laughs> See, like I, that's that's I'm too nice, man. Like I threw I threw a match at a tournament to let an autistic kid win. Oh uh, no! Once I pay my ten bucks, I can't throw shit. Thankfully, we didn't have to pay money to go in. That was appreciative, but like, like, and, like and, I don't, and I don't mind throwing. And it's like my my other buddy Anthony who who like also plays Smash like he he uh like he followed he he won his tournament and like went up against the kid next and he was like yeah I couldn't do it either I'm sorry <laughs> kid, no, hey, like, kid, kid, think, like those two wins got him into the third thing, got him into the third got, like he got third in the tournament so I think the funniest thing in Yu Gi Oh history was back at YCS when um the featured match was like some kid versus Jesse Cotton. And I'm just like, who the fuck set this up? Like, 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 like somebody really talked to this kid and said, hey, do you want to fight the champion and get fucking creamed on camera? Like, th that shit should not have been set up. I don't, whoever yeah, did that, like, do what like, the fuck it, they were doing. That's like, like, at like, cha at like, kitty, like, kitty soccer or whatever. Like, at, like, at a certain point, the ref's allowed to call it. Yeah. Like at, at a certain point, like, like at no point should the game get to a hundred to zero. <laughs> yeah, that's 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 all. 
it's almost like saying like, oh hey kid, do you wanna do you wanna fight Mike Tyson in the ring? Like, no. I don't want to fight Mike Tyson. He's gonna fucking murder me. Yeah, it's like shit. Like, and like, did, did the kid like like? Here's my thing. Question: Did the kid like win in juniors or something? I don't know what the fuck it was. All I did, remember was like I was just some, watching. Or did screen. some executive's kid pay a shit ton of money to have their kid fight the champion? And nobody decided. <laughs> and nobody. And at no point did anybody say this might make your child cry. From from what I'm gathering, because like I did take the judge test, like I got all three of my certifications. Um, from what I was reading, I think the featured matches are random, so it's all like if you're just called for it, you're just called for it, right? And so it happened he was called to be the featured match against Jesse Cotton somehow, and I don't know how people didn't see that and didn't think this was like not this was a problem. <laughs> Like, yeah, like, like, that, like, like, like that, like putting putting a child against the world champion is inappropriate in every case. And now, I'm sure it makes for a funny like ten minute clip, but like morally, like, eh, it's a little rough. I, 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 th I think the kid cried. I, I think he cried <laughs> on on international television. On um, Twitch, it's not on TV yet. <laughs> what do you cry? <laughs> and I'm just oh, like, oh, 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 Konami. You know, what I mean by, you know, you know what I mean by television. I haven't had a cable you. subscription. I've never in my life had a cable <laughs> subscription. My parents had one. I I stopped watching TV at 16. Dude, same. And I'm just over here like Konami. Like you're trying to market this game to children, but you're having a child go against a champion just to film his tears. Like, do you not want kids to play your game? You know, what, you know what would have been a cool feature match? They get two kids to play against each other. That, that would have been cool. That, that, that would have been it, it, dope. It's like, it's like, it's like either have two kids or have two people at the same skill level, but not a champion versus a fucking like. No, now, that's stupid. And, and here's the thing: I'm not saying a kid couldn't be fucking excellent at the game. I've got my shit rocked by a kid younger than me before, but it's I have like, too. yeah, like, like it's not that it's not that they're like, it's, but it's like. This is the world. This is one of, like like this is one of the top players in the world, who's also a grown ass adult with more life experience. Like, I don't care if the kid has like uber autism and this is their hyperfixation. Like, kids, and I say this with all the care in my heart, kids are stupid. Yeah, they are. Like I like and and like I'm 25 now. I think about what I was at night, how how my brain worked at nineteen. Oh man, my brain was my brain was all over the place. And it's like three. If I go three years beforehand at sixteen, I would be like, I'm like, I don't recognize this human being at all. Like this is not, this can't be me. This is a troglodyte. Like, and, and it's like it's it's. <laughs> at the end of the day, it's like like our kids are the future, sure, but like. I feel like as adults, generally, there should be some level of responsibility to, like... I'm not saying we should coddle kids completely, but, like, we should, like, go out... We shouldn't go out of our way to, like, make them suffer. <laughs> like, shit. Exactly. Like, like, here's the thing. You... Like, that kid who took your... Who, who like, who lied to the judge and shit, like, you handled yourself subliminally in that... And through that entire first interaction. And the second time was a fucking lesson. Yeah. It was a lesson. <laughs> you know, it's like any parent that was worth a damn says, I'm sorry for I'm sorry for like going so hard to making your kid cry, but this X, Y, and Z happened, and he did not earn something that he that because he decided to lie, you know, to lie. Like any parent worth a damn is like 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 is gonna have a conversation with their kid, like like you shouldn't have done that in the first place. It doesn't justify like, you know him bullying you but like you also shouldn't have fucking done that it's a lesson it's a life lesson you taught that kid a life lesson he wasn't gonna otherwise have mm -hmm. you know and i don't know it's like community shit you know what i mean i don't know what the, what, what the fuck but uh as, but you you said you made mithra pyra in smash who are your back who's your backup um, I'm not much of a Smash player, but like if I had to go back up, like of course it'd be Bayonetta. Because of the time spent with her, and then your third would be. I, 
I would probably say Isabel. Interesting. Like, I, I, I enjoy Isabel. She's fun. Did you actually hear, it's on the note of Isabel, did you actually know that, like, when, that, did you know that, like, Nintendo and Bethesda Game Studio and, and, and id Software, like, confirmed that oh, yeah, that um, guy Isabel, and Isabel are guy. married? I'm yeah. like, it's, it's canon now. <laughs> hey, dude, I mean, I saw the fucking, like, cute little animation with the song and shit where it's, like, like, I love I love that entire period of 2020 where like people were waiting for Doom Eternal and and New, and Animal Crossing because it was coming out on the same day and instead of like people fighting about which game to play like they were doing with fucking Starfield and Baldur's Gate recently they just embraced that shit and started making memes and shit. Yeah, dude. Like when, whenever like communities like can get together like that, like honestly, I think you I think you find more sales when you do that versus like fuck this game buy my game instead because yeah, like when you. Like, like people buy both. Yeah, I bought both. I bought Baldur's Gate and Starfield. I bought. I bought. Listen, I want, I'm gonna be clear. I am the preeminent. Pre. Let me fucking speak English properly. Jesus Christ, the preeminent Bethesda simp. Mm -hmm. I have played every. I have played Skyrim, Fallout Three, Fallout New Vegas. I have played Oblivion, Morrowind, and I. A, a chunk of Daggerfall and a little bit of Arena. Like, I have played all, almost all of Bethesda's games, mo many of which to borderline completion. There is no planet where I wasn't going to buy Starfield and play it. And I and I will admit that I am a fucking simp for Karlak in Baldur's Gate 3. Dude, I, it, it is a great almost... game. I will say the only thing I didn't like about the second Doom was the multiplayer. Yeah, like, I, I, enjoyed, I, mean, I enjoyed the first Doom's multiplayer better. Not barely. Yeah, but I mean, the first. But, I mean, to be fair, like I like thematically that the second the second game's multiplayer thematically it's more in line with like what the fucking game is the single player game is compared to like the <laughs> first ones. Like the first one was they, they just chopped that out to a different group of people to make that for them, but like. But I, I agree. For me, it's like the Doom Doom 2016 and Doom Eternal plus the DLCs. God, the DLCs were so fucking good. Dude, they were. I really just played them for the, for the campaign. Like, I, I'm, I'm more of like a multi... Like, I, I did play the campaigns for both, but like, I'm more of a multiplayer guy. I get that. And like, Doom Doom 2016 was like probably like the only the only first person shooter that I was actually super good at because like every day I would prestige like every single day, like every time I would play, like I wouldn't come under top three. Jesus. Like, yeah. Like, and like, it, it was, it was so dog shit easy to do. Cause like you understood the map, you understood what guns were good. It's like, okay, cool. I, I get the layout, right? Like run, run the exact same pattern. People would just come boom, hit, boom, hit, Say, pro, say rinse and repeat. And like, you know, I'm shaking like the leaderboards, right? And my name is like, you know, like, I want to say within like the top five leaderboards. And I'm just over here like, okay, I can make it like number one probably soon. And then like the game just died off. So online didn't matter no more. So it's like, okay, I, I made top five. So I'm not mad, but like, I wish yeah. the game didn't die off number one. <laughs> yeah. Because like, if I would have, you... sorry, go ahead. If I would have made number one, that would have been like, maybe the third game in which my name was like number one in the world yeah like honestly it's like you you're probably in the minority a lot of like the doom for 2016 june 2016 the multiplayer was not like a giant like a huge Yo, um, thing. like like um your, your microphone keeps on cutting in and out for some reason oh i'm so sorry all right um yeah. but yeah my bad um the uh uh let me see if i can swap this around real quick microphone uh uh how's that is that a little bit better it's better all right cool yeah sorry about that but um yeah it's like uh, honestly it's like as much as i like i played a little bit of the doom 2016 multiplayer i'm just not a huge I, I, like i gotta be honest like i my pedigree of gaming is very much not in like the multiplayer like space like anytime mm -hmm. I, like the like the like but I can empathize with you on like it dying. You want to know the only battle royale that I actually enjoyed? Which one was that? Fallout seventy six nuclear winter. 
You know, I've I've paid for Fallout 76. I just never played it. Honestly, that's probably a good thing because it's a much better experience now compared to two years ago. Yeah, because like, because like I, I, because like um, I like I bought the um like the um edition under the collector's edition on digital Mm -hmm. for Mm -hmm. PlayStation, and my PlayStation account got banned, (laughs) so I had a whole new PlayStation account. So I basically paid for a game that I never got to play. If you ever get a chance to, if you ever do decide, if you ever like are in a hankering for like a Bethesda game and you want to play something and you just want you just want something that's like brain dead or whatever, I I'd say give it a shot. It's 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 a it's 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 the writings like they added actual NPCs. There's actual writing. There's actual story. Like they did a good job with it. Like it's the gameplay is it's it's fun. It's like if you liked the gameplay in Fallout Four, you're gonna like it here. Like it's a little more grindy because it's a fucking live service game. But what the fuck ever. Like people, the community is generally like pretty fucking awesome. Like even with some like dickhead Russians and shit because that this is one of the handful of games that hasn't banned Russians. Um, like you know. By and large, like the Fallout seventy six community has a reputation for being one of the friendliest in gaming. Um, I don't really? know. Oh, dead ass! Like, I mean, for we, we we sustained it for years just because, like, every time we saw a new person, we were like friend, you know, because we didn't want the game to die, you know. And so it's like it's very common for us to like for like high players like myself to like find people who are lobies and just give them a bunch of free shit and say have fun. If you need help, like ping me. Mm-hmm. You know. Now, granted. So then this might be something that turns you off from it. There, the PvP scene is dead. It's gone. PvP. The oh. PvP scene is dead and gone. And don't I thought the survival worlds were fucking cool. I it was I have so many fun memories. Like I would build my camp with like super strong walls and weapons and stuff right next to a fucking um right next to a fucking uh uh what was it called a train station which was the only places you could actually teleport to you had to walk from the train stations to get to places and like i remember there were people like they were trying to invade me and kill me and shit and then i was like killing them from behind walls and they were and my shit was exploding but like that was for preparing it as they were destroying it and it's just like really really fun interactions but unfortunately the by and large most people just didn't like pvping because like they lost their shit there was very few upsides to it aside from caps but so like most of it kind of went away same thing with nuclear winter i loved it i played a shit ton of it but there weren't enough players playing it took it went from you know getting into like, a game to like having to wait 10 minutes in the lobby for people to like start a game it sucked so not like for me like P- pvp is like a very huge aspect when it comes to games for me because like i because like I, I don't i don't mind pv because like i i do i do like pve stuff like mm-hmm. it like it was like my favorite thing to like you know play here around then but like I guess I guess like the PvP aspect for me is like very important because like it fills like my competitive spirit. And it's because also like um infinite content. It's also infinite yeah, content. It's, it's infinite content. Because like, you know, like in like the one thing like what Yu-Gi-Oh! like that really turns me on to like the card game aspect, right? Mm-hmm. It's so like it's different from other cards because like, you know, other card games, because like, you know, like it's it's very fast paced, it's very in your face and like it feels more like a mind battle than any other TCG I've played in my experience. Cause like, you know, like what magic, right? Like, yes, like you do got to be smart to a degree and like have like your setups. Right. But it all just depends on like, you know, like how much land you have and stuff like that. Right. But when it comes to Yu-Gi-Oh, right. It's all like, I'm going to play this card and see if he walks into my trap. And if he doesn't, I had to make a follow-up play to that. And it's just lots of Yu-Gi-Oh is like lots of follow-up, follow-up. And once you get that that last card to just lock everything down, the game is basically yours at that point. And and also Yu-Gi-Oh has a level of deception involved yeah. that magic and to an extent Pokemon doesn't. Like magic, like you you know your opponent's resources are splayed out on the board, and the shit and like with the except uh, and unless you're playing like a fucking blue deck, like shit you have to play shit to be able to do shit in 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 in, in Yu-Gi-Oh like like people get mad that about hand traps and stuff do i believe hand traps are a band-aid solution to the speed of the game absolutely and yeah, of course but the thing is is though is like the concept of like having the game like i think there's a fine line between having the game being fast enough where like where like 
like it doesn't completely blow out things from the past but also like hand traps can have a certain of like a, a meaningful level of engagement you know <clears throat> i think and i and i and it's like it's like while i like max c in the concept i think i think personally i feel like you're also slotting a lot of cards into your deck to kind of counter it as well right like like yeah it's like it's like like the, the it's like i think uh i forget the youtuber that said it but they said like it's like there's a mini game within Yu-Gi-Oh that you're playing you know i think maxi is really the only like problem hand trap in my personal opinion but even then i'd say you could reduce that shit down to one and it'd be still be fine you know because it, the, it, because it, the it, reason it, why it, the reason why i would disagree with maxi at one it's like i i think it's an abomination of a card that should have never been printed but when you put Maxi to one, you end up getting more problems with it because it becomes like one of those sacky one ofs where it's all like, if mm -hmm. I have Maxi, at one, it's like this, right? Like I'm like I'm gonna play something that I know for sure that my opponent's gonna ash, right? Because like if I play something that I know for a fact you're gonna ash, I got the Maxi. So you have no you have no answer to that no more. So it's all like you know it's either you keep it at three, or you just keep it at zero. Like there's just no in between with that. Because like that. the time when Max, the time when Maxi went to one in TCG, because there was a time where Maxi did exist at one in TCG, that was the worst time to play in a Maxi format, honestly. So well, it's all like well, as much well, I, as, I, like, I as much as we this. hate it. Yeah, go ahead. Sorry. Yeah, it's like as much as we hate this card, keep it three or keep it zero, no in between. <laughs> and honestly, I think about like how the OC. Like, listen, I think that like. I think that in a in a format like Master Duel, where so many like where like so the card pool is so vast and so many little things are banned, that a busted ass card like Maxi being a staple in every single deck isn't really that much of a fucking problem for me. I would wager, but but like but for like the TCG, like I think about, but at the same time, it's like I look at the OCG and then I look at the TCG. And I look at like <laughs> who's enjoy like like I look at like how OCG games go. And I'm like, Maxi seems to make it less fun. Yeah, because like I'm actually at the point in Master Duel where I'm not even playing Maxi anymore. Like I'm just playing the Ash and the Cogbys, and that's it. Yeah, because it's like, honestly, like I feel like Ash Blossom from not Ash Blossom, um, uh, Maxi. All like I, I, I think out of the last hundred games on Master Duel I've played with with a deck that has Maxi in it at three. I think I've only gotten Maxi off at most 20 times. Yeah, because, like, the thing, like, well, it's, and it's, like, you know, I'm not, it's, like, I'm not playing, like, I'm not playing Maxi because, like, I think the card's bad. Because, right. again, I do think it's bad. But, like, the reason why I'm not currently playing Maxi is because, like, the decks I'm currently building, it can't hold Maxi because it's all, like, you know, it's all, like, yes, I, I can just throw Maxi in there. But the package I'm trying to play is like too much space. And like I'm the kind of person who's like, I don't like to have my cards over 40 if possible. Yeah. So if I throw it at C, I'm now at 43 cards. And it's all like I would rather brick on something that's something I could have used than to brick on the max C. Yeah. If that makes like, sense. No, that makes perfect sense. Like my should invoke should all pile. Which is like my favorite deck to play. I don't. I barely play it nowadays because of the, because it's so mm -hmm. fucking power crept. But like, it's the type of deck that is so fine tuned down to the wire that it can't really run back. It can't run really any hand traps really, except for like what works with it in like from a synergistic perspective. Like, mm -hmm. like I run two, three tune table of contents, a tune cyber dragon. Uh, a, a interrupted kaiju slumber, the bug and the turtle, like and 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 a uh, fusion destiny DP package in the deck, right? Mm -hmm. Like with the exception of maybe the fucking level six destiny hero, all of it works together in the in other day ways with the decks with both the invoked cards, the all cards, like. You know the interrupted kaiju slumber. If I open, if I'm able to, if I if I open a falco or a baby, or I have a way to get to the falco, I can normal summon it. Barone immediately on my field. Yeah, because like, like um, I I, I there's, and there's, and you and you know this. There's nothing more satisfying as a Sidra player 
or someone with Sidra cards than eating a format Appaloosa with a Mega Fleet Dragon. Yeah. <laughs> because um I was like like the the first cash tier tournament deck I made. Mm -hmm. I had to get rid of Maxi to put the cash stuff in there because like the cash that's the ca even though cash you doesn't have all of the it. You need to see it it's, in your it's, it, it's, a, it's a really big package. And I'm over here like shit. I like this this is like this is like this is like this is like pre Merly band. So like you know right. the cash heroes with the tournaments made the deck go from forty to forty two cards. I'm already over forty, which I don't like. And it's like 42 I can manage. But if I keep Max C in, it's going to be a 45 card deck. And I don't want a 45 card deck. So I had to get rid of the Max C's. And, like, you know. This, it's so important to like, 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 whether it's 40, 50, 60, or whatever, like, I feel like, there, like for decks, like, there's a percentage that you need to have access to a package. And uh, yeah. more and the more and like my shit all deck is a prime example of this. Like I cannot put hand traps in that bitch or else it just doesn't fucking work. Yeah, like, and like you know, I kind I kinda wish that I knew Merley was gonna get banned beforehand. Yeah. Because like this might have been like the best deck I've ever made. Because like this is like around the time where it's all like I was gonna let my account de rank to gold and take this deck and just climb back to masters. If I would have known that you know Merley would have gotten banned, I would have just played the I would have just played the format anyways and just went to Masters. But I was testing it on casual. I go on a forty four win streak with this deck. <laughs> yeah. You know what? Actually, if I, um, you have a YouTube channel, right? I do, but I don't post much on it. Yeah. Tell you what, how about like I'll make I'll, I'll give you my word on this. At some point in the near future, take that deck list you have of the OG, of like the of the what of like like that you wanted it to be, um, and we're gonna hop into a dual room with without rules and and I'm and we're gonna and I'm, and we're gonna play a match so you, and, and put and record some shit so you can put that up on your channel just so like you can still have so like there's something like you they can get that energy out into the world. You know what I mean? Because right. I, I, I get it. Because I get it. Because I get it. Because it's like you know, I don't like like I don't. There's not like I don't want to spend four hundred dollars on a TCG deck. Like I like I, and you know like in the deck I want to play, I use Power Crap to Hell. And it's like and, yeah. and I also and it's like I'm not spending a hundred dollars on Barone. I'm not spending a hundred dollars on a DPE package, and I'm not spending you know fifty dollars on like a fucking interrupted kaiju slumber plus the two kaijus and the other shit I need. And it's just not happening. Yeah, yeah, and like right now, like I know I'm. Um, I was checking like the leaks, and Pearly is coming out the same time as Mikanko's. So like I'm kind of in the bind right now, and I'm kind of like. Do I want to get Pearly or do I want to get Mikonkos? Because, like, they're both good decks, but from what I've been hearing, like, Pearly is, like, you know, like, been dominating the meta. And yeah, but, me as the meta. But per, but, I, but the thing is, Mikonko is more splashable. Mm -hmm. Like, if you're playing Pearly, you're playing Pearly. That's, I think, the difference. Because yeah. it's like, because it's, and, and also, the Pearly cards, like, it's basically a tower that dies to a Kaiju. Like it's like it, 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 it like the, the your big final game plan gets eaten by a turtle, like that's just the unfortunate reality. I'm not saying it's not powerful; it is, but it's like it's very much it's like it's like lower power than something like cash. And I know they're going to continue like nerfing cash and tier into the ground because the this is Starfrost line of cards is cursed to be like it, it could curse to like cause the most game breaking shit. Oh yeah, dude. Like, I'm scared. At, at of this... I'm scared of what the synchro ones are gonna do. Oh, manadiums. Are, there's already like like synchro circle jerk is already bad enough with shit like wind ups in master duel. Like, are we really about to like or dragon link? Fucking dragon link. <laughs> I I can't wait to see what master is gonna look like in like in like in um the next couple of months. It's gonna look fucking terrible. Like I just like I just want the Shino Bird support. Can I just get the Shino Bird support, please? 
Yeah. And like I want, also I want my fun little rogue deck to like, you know, have its new cards. Like, come on, man. And like also what I find funny that Master Duel does, it's like Master Duel will purposely put out casual like packs that you can buy, which is a trap. Like I don't I don't know how people haven't figured out that the casual packs are a trap because like they just came out with the um with the new red eyes cards and the luster soldier pack in master duel and it's like if you're spending your gems on that i really hope you have extra gems or you're just someone who doesn't care about getting out of gold like if you don't care about getting out of gold cool but if you're someone who wants to try to get to the top and you're buying those packs like I don't think you're that smart of a person because like it's clearly it's clearly a pack to make you spend gems before they drop meta and like i said if you're someone who doesn't care about leaving gold buy those packs but if you care about leaving gold and getting to the top do not touch the casual packs with a 10-foot pole like it's just a decoy to get you to spend gems before they drop the better pack that you're going to complain about for like the next few months and and uh, and honestly, like I mean, I know a couple people who really like the Black Luster Soldier archetype and support and want to go play with that. And I get it. Go have fun. Like, and like, you know, I know I I know the people you know the, the people that are spending their money on that are the people that don't really play on ladder anyway. So the ones that like play in dual rooms, the ones that play casual exclusively. They're in in the, they play with their friends and discords and shit. And and that's fine, you know. But it's like. Yeah. Yeah, it's, but it's like, you know, I think, I think like, aside from, like, the people who genuinely don't think, I think most people understand that, though. Or children. Like, it's, I, I think the children might not get it. Because, like, the Blast Lightning Soldier stuff's cool looking. I get it. But it's like... I mean, it's no, cool. like, you, like, it's it's crazy to understand how many people don't understand it. Because, like, you know, I'm, I'm, like, in different Facebook groups with Yu-Gi-Oh! players, right? And, like... Here's my dumb you always giving people the benefit of the doubt. <laughs> No, like it's it's crazy. Like and it's like and it's like you always you always see people complaining about meta, saying like, right. Oh, I'm playing this deck while people spend all their gems on this and it's all like you realize you're doing this to yourself, right? Like it's like you're purposely buying the bad cards and you're complaining about pe people like like I'll say like the funniest thing that people tell me is um that I am a pay to play player. And you know, I'm not gonna lie here and say like I've never dropped money on Master Duel. Like I've I, dropped money. I on am Duel. absolutely a pay to pay player. Most of the people I know just hop into like ladder or they go into the fucking gates or and they save their fucking gems and they're smart yeah. about it. But the thing about me is like you know like also like the the last four meta decks that I've played on Master Duel, I didn't drop a single penny on none of those decks. It's just that every time like because like I said like I I'm always checking the leaks. I'm always like, you know, like counting down the days, right? Within those days, I save up gems, like from events. Even though I hate the events, I'll play it to get the gems for it. And um, like I'll play like the ladders, get the gems off those, and just keep on saving up the gems, right? And then like like I'll take in my old meta deck after like Master killed it. I would deconstruct that deck, get all the URs out of there, spend those gems on that pack, right? And then like, you know, from there. I can make a whole new meta deck and I didn't drop a single penny and people are saying like, Oh, you're it's like, I didn't pay for the last four meta decks. You so there was no excuse. You were just patient. You played a deck yes. so you couldn't play it anymore. And then you, and then you didn't spend your gems on bullshit like mats and pets and sleeves. Yes. And it's, and it's all like, people don't understand. And it's all like, you know, like if, if you're going to say master duel is like, you know, like, pay to pay like i i can't have a conversation with you because it's all like i'm speaking from experience i know like yes you might have to buy some shit probably but to say the game is completely like no you don't know what you're talking about it's like you don't have the patience for it. you want to know what i you want to know what my master duel field looks like what's that the field is standard mm -hmm. the uh graveyard and shit i think is like the magical hats you get for free Mm -hmm. And the Karibo pet from the first season. No, like, so, like, when it like, comes that, to, like that that's what my field looks like. Because I don't spend money on shit. When it comes when it comes to the dual fields, like I have this obsession I have this obsession to buy every single dual like I have every single dual field. 
It's just that I buy those after I buy my decks because to me, the deck is the most important thing. Yeah, because once, once I get the, you're losing, you're not having fun. Yeah. So, like, you know, once I get the gems for that, I'm going to buy, like, the, um, I'm going to buy the fields and shit because, like, because, like, also, like, for me, because, like, you know, like, back when I was playing Master Duel, mm -hmm. like, you know, I was, like, smoking, like, heavy weed, like, doing all these, like, different substances, right? So sometimes I would forget what deck I have. So the dual field will remind me what deck I'm playing. So it's all like, That's oh, it's the water field. Oh, oh, it's 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 the water field. I'm playing tears. It's the cookies field. I'm playing fluffles. Because like, I try to have my dual fields correspond with the decks I'm playing. That's and like, smart. there's like, like there are so many dual fields that I've. Because like I said, I have every single dual field. Half of those dual fields, I've never actually even used. I just have them just in case I make a deck that's going to fit it. <laughs> right. Yeah, for, yeah, I mean, for me, it's like the drip is not that important. Like, I, I'm just like, do, do I have the deck I want to play? Do I have the cards needed for it? Great. I don't need anything else. Like, I, I, I mean, it's, I, I'm not saying that, like, I'm not saying my way is the right way. It's absolutely not. Like, definitely, like, I think I think it's really cool when people do exactly what you say. Have the thematic sleeves, graveyard, banish zones, pets, fields, a whole nine yards. I think that's really cool. But it's like people get mad at me when I say like, "Yeah, I don't care for foil. I don't care for the drip. I just want to kick your ass and keep it moving." Yeah, that's what that's what it's all about for real. Like that's what it's really all about for real. Do you, like do it's you about think winning. Because like. Oh yeah, absolutely. Do you think uh, Master Duel is going to add alternative formats to the game, like as mainstays that's not just ranked? Because it's like, I don't know. Because I, because like I feel like like they tried to add new shit with like the triple person duels, but like it, like they just implemented it in like the word like the laziest way possible. It was super lazy. It was super lazy. It, um, um, if honestly, they, if, they, if they if they had done it where everybody's using the same cards on the field, like it's one field, three different decks, people take turns on on their field and shit, that would have been cool as shit. That would have been, been full of shit. That would have been amazing. Are you kidding me? I would have got like that. Like that would be all I'm streaming with my buddies, and it'd be so and it'd be fun. Like we'd be just talking shit at each other and like and like it would be roasting the fuck out of each other for misplays. It'd be great. Like I think the craziest thing I've heard someone say that they wanted for Master Duel was like a two v two ranked, and like you know, as interesting as two v two ranked sounds, me personally, I wouldn't want to play it. Reason why I would want to play two v two ranked because like I would have to rely on the person to win their games. Yeah, and if they win, I'm not gonna rank up, and it's all like well, I don't want. Well, I was <laughs> thinking like like remember like if you're both on the same field. Like I'm not talking like the like oh like individual games and shit. I'm talking about like yeah, we're like, both like, playing. Like, even, even then, like like no matter, no matter how you put it, like even if you put it as like singles or same field, I still have to rely on that person to do yeah. their part. That's and if true. they can't do that, I'm gonna take the loss because like 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 I, I'm not I'm not saying I don't want two v two, bring it, but not for ranked because if it's for ranked. That means I would have to call up my buddy each time I want to play on ranked and be like, "Hey, look, I don't want to be I don't want to be paired with a fucking cat with a fucking random. Come help me out." <laughs> yeah, I mean, honestly, like I get how that could be cringe, but also like I also would really like that experience. I would, but also like I wouldn't ex play that fucking mode unless I had like my my buddy with me. You know what I mean? Like exactly because like do you, do you know how pissed off I would feel if I had Rukalos and Kid Catlos on the field just for a motherfucker to tribute them off for a blue eyes, I would feel some type of way. <laughs> nah, I'd rage quit. Because I'm picturing like having Elf, Gigantic, and the two live twin uh, Link monsters on my field. And then I'm just picturing them like using them for a fucking Appaloosa. <laughs> yes and then like like because like my thing is like if that was happening to me right i'll be all like look you really thought blue eyes was the better choice between rucolos and kit get off my team please get off my team fucking perish <laughs> please no nah, because it's 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 
the nerve. The fucking yeah, nerve. nerve. <laughs> and I'm all like, I don't mind you tributing them, but like, for a blue eyes of all things, like, you could do something better, man. Not not a blue eyes. Like, maybe a monarch. That, that I was still full of like I would still feel mad about that, but I'll I'll be more accepting to it. But if you just slap it's a, a deck blue with eyes, a game plan, it's like it's yeah. a blue eyes deck. You have a billion and a half ways to get this this chonky fucker out, and you choose to tribute over <laughs> the Kikolos and Arukolos. I would feel like I, I would dead ass just leave the game. I would dead ass you leave know what? the game. You know what? I hope they mill. I hope they mill your polymerizations. <laughs> I hope. I hope. I hope Kiklos mills your polys, and I and I and I hope you're not able to do anything because I'm fucking leaving, and you can fight these fuckers by yourself. I hate you. Yeah, like, uh, it, like Master was was like such in a weird state because, like, you know, like I'm the tier player on TikTok, like, obviously, right? right? And mean, like you know, meta, you're the meta player. Once catch t once tier element, you know, gets nerfed to high hell, and catch tier be in a rise hard comes out. Like that, you're just gonna play cash. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna play cash, but I'm I'm, I'm still gonna keep my Merly mask. The, the, the Merly mascot's never leaving. I'm keeping that. No, <clears throat> no, it's it's very it's very very like of you. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> but like um the thing what was I gonna, what was I gonna say? I just almost lost it. Oh yeah, oh, it was sorry. it was about to. It was the tier. No, it, no, it was it was my thing about the tier stuff. I always get people like you know ask me about like tier limit branded, mm -hmm. and like don't get me wrong, like tier limit branded is good, but I don't think it's good at the same time. Like you know, because my thing is like this, right? Like tier limit is strong, branded is strong. It'd be ignorant for me to say that they're not strong, right? But right. I don't like when they're slapped in the same deck because I feel like the decks underpower each other. Because tier limit wants to do what it does, which is make tier stuff and mill stuff. Branded does what it wants to do, which is like, you know, make branded stuff, right? And I get it, the tiers are easy fusion fuel. But there was a reason why branded tier was considered tier three and regular branded was considered tier two, while regular tier was considered tier one. There was a reason why separately they, they were higher than the fusion version of it. And people just keep it like, it's like, why? Because it's all like, dude, it's like this, right? It's like, it's kind of hard for me to explain it since I've never played them both together. But I've played against it a lot. And playing them both together is kind of like, you know, branded kind of like locks you sometimes into branded stuff. So like, once you kind of like get locked into that, you kind of like can't really like use your tier stuff anymore. Or if you go tier stuff first and like you mill like some stuff that you need in your hand, it's like it's not there anymore. So it's all like pick one or the other. Don't put them two together. Just go one or the other. And then like most of the yep. tier branded stuff for like sixty card decks with grass. So it's like not not only did you mix it together and make it sixty cards, you're relying on seeing grass. And if you don't get grass, you fucking lose. Just yeah. just and play one. <laughs> just play one or the other because like and like and and also it's like and they also and they both have like a pretty a pretty like poignant lynch point you know what i mean like yeah it's like like kick close resolve branded fusion resolve or bust like like i like granted I, my favorite place to stop a tier deck is the normal summon um Rhino Heart. Mm -hmm. I negate Rhino Heart. I negate the Shear and they activate it. And then they scoop. Yes, <laughs> that's, that's always that's always a good that's always a good because it's like like the old i like with Tier and you can attest to this. The only way to stop tier is before they're able to actually get anything into the fucking graveyard. Or if they do get anything in the graveyard, they don't make sure it doesn't activate. <clears throat> There's like more ways to contest it because, like you know, oh, me no, as a tier player, but that's just like not for like me. um, so, some sometimes like unless unless I'm a unless I'm absolutely sure what's in their hand, I'll stop it at the Rhino Heart. If I'm not sure what's in their hand, I'll stop it at Kid Catlosa. 
So, so like the moment you bring out Kit, that's where I stop you. Because like if you stop Kit, more than likely their turn's gonna end. More than likely. Yeah. Especially if like, especially if like, especially if you call by that bitch. Oh, dude! If if, if you call by a Kit, they they just fucking leave. <laughs> Yeah, because they, 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 like, they only ever play one. Because I've I've very rarely seen anybody run more than one kit close. Because you can you can only have one. Yeah. Even before that, it got limited. Because like um because like I want to say like I want to say right out the gate, all the tier names was at two and kit was at one. Because like honestly speaking, like if I could have more than one kit, I would have more than one kit. But you can only have one kit. I get that, but like I see, but I mean that. But as far as like the consensus of deck building for tier goes, it was very much like I noticed that like kick close very much was like treated the same as like um, rusty bardish. Like you only really need to, you know, people only really played one because you only needed to get it off once per se. You know, like I would say back in the TCG, I saw most people like play two of it because like you only you only need to get one of it off anyways. Yeah, but the reason why people played two back in the TCG was because of the threat of like the cod by or of it getting shuffled out. Because yeah. like without Kit Atlas, you can't go into Rukalos. Like you need Kit to go into Ruk. So I, if you cut okay, off, the... can we just talk about King of the Swamp for a second? Because I'm so yes, sad. we can. I'm so sad that that got fucking limited to one. Because like for generic f- fusion shit, it's a great card. It's a great card. And it it is a no, great card. It's like, it, but it's like a balanced card too, right? Like it's a poly searcher, and you can use it as mats for anything. It's like yeah. if you, if like if you, it's a fusion deployment with legs. But it's like, but like, one of the things I feel with it is just like. It's like it's like it's like one of those cases where it's like a card gets banned not because it's a problem but because a current archetype has a problem with it, mm-hmm. which just sucks because it's like I know for a fact that there were like fright for players that were sobbing at that at that limit. Oh, dude, yeah, yeah. Like there were so many people sobbing when um when when us tier players got fucking um got. Insta fusion banned on Master Duel. Like we were I, abusing. I, I was I was not happy with that because I ha- I kept the <laughs> level two, like gen- like fusion level two tuner fusion, and I would and I, and I also kept uh, the um the ship of Theseus or whatever, like and I had those two in my deck for as instant fusion targets, so I could go into a Barone off of a dragon or off of any level eight. But like the one thing that I think. Master Duel should bring back is terraforming because terraforming was a tier hit. Like, oh my god, I can't brain. believe it. I forgot I blocked that out of my brain because that was so fucking cringe. Like, it, it was a tier hit. Meta- like, and, they, and, they, and, they, and they unbanned Metaverse. Metaverse is a three or some shit. Yeah, which is like, it kind of makes more sense though because Metaverse is a trap card, so it's like, it has to wait a turn. Yeah, you, you know, pop it off with the palindrome immediately. Yeah, so like, you know, like, and like you know, like since like since tier is like you know like basically dead because like on it like honestly speaking, tier is basically dead because like we don't have a Guido, we have one Kelbag, we have no Merly, like inboards for tier usually is good. Like tier inboards are going to be like Kit Catlos, Celiac Pass, Rukalos if you're fucking lucky, but for the most part it's Kit Catlos, Celiac Pass now. Like, Tyr isn't doing anything without Merle. Like, without Merle, the deck is fucking neutered. Yeah, and that sucks, because I know, like, people like you really like it. And also, I just want to say for the record, you were so fucking lucky you said that two hours into the podcast instead of, like, early on when people are going to listen to it. Like, because, like, this, that would be a, you know, some shit where people would clip you out or some shit. Mm-hmm. <laughs> don't worry, I'm, I'm, too lazy. I'm too lazy to make clips. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> You're fine, dude. <laughs> <laughs> but like jokes aside, but jokes aside, like yeah, it's like I, it's not a good feeling when a deck you really like kind of gets, you know, either banned or power crept to hell. Yeah, and like the thing is, like you know, like Merle didn't get banned because of how good she is. It's because of how abusable it was with Sprite Elf. 
and and, and, Spr- and if they banned Sprite Elf, it would it would it, I don't think it would neuter the the Sprite deck per se, but like. If I, can I be honest with you? I, I really feel like Sprite, yeah, Elf, Sprite Elf. Sprite Elf is not a problematic card because of its effect. It is a problematic card because of how generic it is. Yes, that's Sprite, that's why it's problematic. If, if Sprite Elf required a Sprite, a Sprite monster? monster, all of the, like like Mary, Mary could come back. Yeah, and like the thing is, like you know. At this point, because like they've been hitting sprite, I I feel like sprites have been getting hit unjustly in Master Duel, because like, because like you know like me like I'm like I'm like in Diamond tier and Master tier, right? And like once you get to those tiers, like once those decks start dying off, you see less and less of it. I'm not really sure like what things look like in Platinum and below, because like I'm not really in those pools unless like I'm purposely deranking myself. I am. So I can speak re- for them. You're not really seeing you, you. You're seeing some cash lists. You might see the occasional uh, sprite list, but a lot of the times, especially in like at the gold and platinum level, most of the time people are just playing. Like I see more labyrinth than anything else. Honestly, yeah. so like my thing is like you know, Konami. Like if you're gonna take this much time to kill off sprites, you might as well just hit the elf and just hit leave Merly alone. Literally, because it's like if you're going, because like. They've hit like like Sprite Jet is at one, Sprite Blue is at two. Like I'm probably gonna have to start running more copies of Red and and Carrot to like fill up the to fill up like this like the the sprites I need at this point. Mm-hmm. Like and, and it's like fine, but like I'm still killing motherfuckers with my deck. Like it's yeah, not so it's, it's 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 like because because the thing is 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 that the thing that makes Sprite powerful is because it is super generic. It is it is less of an archetype and more of an engine. You know, if you at the end of the day, and so it's like you can if you can if you have a deck with a lot of level twos or a car, or a deck that doesn't mind being trapped into level twos for a, until the end of a turn. Go ahead. Sprites are good. You you're able like you're able to set up an IP Mascarena, multiple rank two like rank twos multiple like and just do whatever the fuck you want. Sp- Gigantic Sprite is a disgusting ass Xyz monster, but it locks Very you into. But it lock like if, if if Sprite Elf was less generic or Xeno locked of some sort, like it would it, that that like they like if they, they what they should do is I want Konami to be. More open to eroding cards immediately. When it comes to eroding, I am on like the fence of yes and no. Like with Sprite Elf, I wouldn't mind an eroded for that because like yeah. Sprite needed to be archetype exclusive. Like I'm not gonna lie, which like it, it it needed to be. I, I completely agree. Like it, you like it like you don't change anything about its effect. Just make it so you it you're required to use a, at least one sprite monster for its for its summoning. Exactly. So then, like you know, like that's how you make it like less generic, right? But then, like also, like you know, the thing, like you know, um, with other erratas, right? Like I'm a I'm gonna use um, VFD for example, right? When it comes to iconic cards like VFD, Shockmaster, and all the other insane nuts cards those are those are the kind of cards i wouldn't want to see an errata for i agree like i would i would just rather see them like stay on the ban list because like i feel like some cards like once you errata them you take away their integrity of what they stood for their, their identity yeah they're because they're, 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 like because like look, look at what happened to fucking chaos dragon when he got errata like yeah he, he he's a fucking laughing stock now and it's all like right I would rather remember. I would rather remember Chaos Dragon to be the threatening boogeyman than to be a laughing stock now. And and and, and that's and that's kind of one of the things. It's like the erratas should be should like like should be be ways to maintain the like the identity of the card while like lowering its ability. Like like Barone, for example. Like Barone is a really great generic, but it's also like I I think that I think that like 
if the new if the uh, Palladiums or whatever the fuck the Visa Star Frost Synchros are going to be, if they are are genuinely disgusting to like that level, we could see a Barone limit, a Barone a Barone ban even. But it's mm-hmm. like Barone has always been able to be played. Like I can play it and invoke shit all. You can play. You can play Baron into fucking anything, honestly. Any anything, it's insane, and it's like, you know what? You you know what the solution to that is, right? Require the tuner be Fleur Synchron. Yeah. There's and then, like, the honestly, like, when it, when it comes to Baron, like, I think Baron is like one of the only generic cards I don't have a problem with. Like, yes, it's fucking strong. Like, it's a pop on top of an Omni game. I, I would I would argue. Chaos Angel is a better candidate for like a generic rank ten that can be just thrown in anything, and who dude, gives a shit? Dude, fuck it. Yeah. Chaos Angel is fucking disgusting. I fucking really? love Chaos Angel. Like, I, and here's the thing: I don't think it's disgusting. Like, I, I think, like, at worst, it's a Towers that comes onto the field and banishes one card, and like, and protects your monsters depending on what you use. Right, right, right. But like, like, like I said, towers. Like it's, 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 it's not that like. It's not as powerful as what like uh, Omni Negate and dest- and in 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 like Omni Negate and Destruction. Mm-hmm. You know, it's like it's I, like the like Chaos Angel as a card is is tempered. By like it, by like how, by like its effect, and I think it's a. I think the most interesting aspect of it is that you don't need a tuner for it. That's the coolest fucking thing about it. And it's like, and it's like for Barone, it's like it's super generic power. And I get where you're coming from, and I feel the same way about Chaos Angel. Like Chaos Angel will never. I don't think like unless like you know, there's a deck that's like able to abuse it. I'll just ban the deck. Like Chaos Angel as a card will never be banned in my format ever. Yeah. Because it's like, it's not busted, and it won't ever be busted. Like, you, like, like, unless you're like, it's, it's, it's just a part of an end board. You know, I don't know. Whatever. Continue. Uh, sorry, you're saying about Baron. I, I cut you off again. I apologize. No, you're good. But like, when it comes when it comes to Baron, like, like, it, it it is a it is a powerful card. I'll be ignorant to say it's not powerful, but at the same time. I wouldn't say it's as powerful as people hype it up to be because like, you know, like because like people act like Baron is end all be all Baron is not end all be all. Cause like she has one negate built into her. Like you have to put her back in the extra deck and bring her back out to use the effect again. Right. And realistically and most speaking, only, uh, all, most people only run one too. So yeah. And then like, you know, like, and also like, you know, like realistically it, speaking, how many decks can like recycle Baron that fluently? Not many. So, like, you know, once Baron like gets rid of her first Omni Negate, she just loses it for the entire game. Just bait the effect, and Baron now just becomes a pop, which isn't hard to get rid of. So it's all and, like, and, you know, and if it's still your turn, yeah, it's just a, it's a three K body with no protection. Like, exactly. In, 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 in that case, Chaos Angels more intimidating. Yeah, Chaos Angel is way more intimidating because it's all like, oh shit, my monsters came to destroy my battle, and it's all like, so I have to get rid of Chaos Angel at this point in order to do some shit. Yep. And like, and- you know, when it comes to like, when it comes to like casual players, I guess, like, I guess they really haven't mastered like how to like, you know, like bait effects or like how to play around certain cards. But I feel like once they like learn how to like play around certain cards or bait effects or whatever. They would have more of an appreciation for the game than to just downright say everything needs to be banned under the sun. I think that I think it's they just haven't had that humbling moment yet where they're just like, oh, I've genuinely not been playing the like playing the game right. They just haven't had that moment yet. You know, it's like it's like it's not that hard to bait out of Barone. Even with my invoke should all deck, you know what I do? Activate magical meltdown. Activate like if they don't pop, negate that. Normal summon Alistair. Eventually, I'm gonna keep doing invoke things until they do, <laughs> and then you know what I do? Activate it all fusion. Now I can now now I now now we're now we're running, you know. So it's like it, it so it's like it's honestly at the end of the day, it's like like 
I know I've already talked about it at length, but I just want to say one little, little thing. I just really love Chaos Angel's design, like as a card. Yes, because like, like, the, the artwork is amazing. If the artwork's amazing, the premise of the card, it's, it's its own personal gimmick, is awesome. Like the actual effects aren't super busted. Like there, it's 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 easy to go into. It's it's a good it's a good pick for rogue decks. It's a good pick for meta decks as an option if you're not going into Barone. Like it's just like a solidly good card that's inoffensive. Yeah, like bro is just chilling. Like bro is He's straight just up chilling. chilling. There's no reason, like, there's no re, like, 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 I don't see, like, unless, like, unless somebody just, like, unless people just run decks where they don't main deck Raigeki and Harpy's Feather Duster, because also, why the fuck won't, don't people main deck Harpy's Feather Duster and Raigeki? Like, what the fuck? Um, for, for me, because, like, currently I'm not running them, I think it's more so, like, just, like, a format thing, because, like, I've, I've well, noticed that people currently on their cash format in Master Duel. Are still playing um, Forbidden Droplet. I think Forbidden Droplet is like the worst card to run right now in this format. Honestly like, worse, speaking, worse, worst in the sense of like you shouldn't play it or that you fucking hate it. You shouldn't play it. I can see that. Cause like, cause like, don't like Droplet is one of those cards where it's all like it's very format depending, and in cash and it's like deck, it's like and, yeah. and it's deck dependent too. Yeah. And like you know, like in cash format, like don't get me wrong, like droplets a good card, but not in cash format, because like you know, like you have to give up your entire hand in order to like you know, like get rid of shit, right? And we're not, and currently in Master Duel, we're not in the format to just be giving up our hands like that. Yeah, this this just is not resources. The format. You you need resources. Yeah, so like you know, like the better alternative, I would say, is like you know, play Dark a little more. And the thing, like, I kind of hate about, like, you know, explaining that to people because, like, when I say, hey, play Dark Ruler, their response is always, yeah, but I can't do battle damage. It's all, like, that doesn't Who matter. What matters is cleaning up the board. Right. The, what like, matters it, is it, cleaning up the fucking board. Right. It doesn't matter if your opponent, like, has a big fucking board with fuck all on it. If you Dark Ruler their shit and they have no cards in hand, it they're not coming back next turn. They might be able to do a little bit, but like, they're not like. There's nothing you can do. Like I've, I like you've been in this situation before. Like I have. Like you got you you like either dark rulers or you or they board wipe you or what the fuck ever. You have no cards in hand. All like all your your board is wiped, and like and you're hoping you draw Jesus. Yeah. And you and you ne almost never draw Jesus. It's like a once in a lifetime thing when you do, and and it's like the hypest shit ever, and like the, your opponent if they're cool or is like yo that's so fucking insane and it's like a, a big thing. But most of the times you scoop, you scoop, you if you have to if 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 you can if you if you want if you have to, like go to the draw phase to see if you can do anything. But short that you scoop. Yeah, because like. I think the one thing with casual players is like they're under the they're under the mindset of like you know life points matter, and nope, don't, the only life point that matters is the last the last one. one. Like life points do not matter in Yu-Gi-Oh as much as people think they do, and it's all like it's like dude, you, it's like you could, it's like you can like using them as a resource life. for their effects, like exactly because for 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 the longest people hated like you know judgment because it's half. It's half my life points. So what? So and then like, like also solid like, judgment. It's like like judgment in like goat format. Like who gives a fuck if your life points are down to a thousand? You just prevented in goat format, like OG goat format, where people are normal summoning Gemini Elf and summon Skull unironically. You just prevent you you drew two solemn judgment. Great. You now have a big beat stick that your opponent can't get over, and you have a third face down to get rid of their 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 to prevent them using a Raigeki on you. All you have to do is just keep summoning shit, and you win. Yeah, and then like also like another thing that people don't know because like always get like you know like casual players always go like I can't use it if I have like one life because like casual players like to bring up the whole ha ha theoretically. What if I have one life point? I can't play judgment. You can I, play judgment with one life point. 
I was in a tournament. I was in a fucking tournament run by Crystal Bunton's Shiggies on Twitter. Like cool person. She great. I was run, I was doing I was in her tournament and we were literally watching a dino the finals was between um I think Ad Emancipator and Dynamorphia. And the motherfucking di- the Sword Soul versus Dynamorphia and the di- fucking Dynamorphia player quite literally was like activating Dynamorphia effects on one life point for like three turns. Yeah, because and, because the game just restarts it. Yeah, because it's like you can't like like the game it, 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 unless the game says sacrifice X amount of life points, it just presumes it's half. Yeah. And, and and half of and you can't and like while the excuse me while the game says one functionally in the back end it's like 0. 0.5 0. 0.25 0. 0.12 one two five like in like you know the in the whole rigmarole because you know at the end of the day like oh yo oh it says half my life points hypothetically what if my thing is one half like you you're you can never like divide by two to get to perfect zero. Like this is one of the things we learned in algebra in high school. Like you cannot divide by two and get to zero. You know, like so, like you know, it's 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 just funny because like they always bring up the hypothetical. They they always bring up the hypothetical, not yeah, realizing that you can still. No, but like the part that makes it funnier is like they say it, not realizing that you can still activate it with one. Like they don't understand that. And it's, and it's all like. This is why you're bad. <laughs> that like like I I kind of wish I, I, I you know what you know what as a scenario that I think would be really funny with like that like 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 point thing. What's that? Just like someone is at that point playing Dynamorphia or some shit, and then someone like unironically cowboys for game in the year of our Lord twenty twenty three. Could you fucking imagine? <laughs> Because that's why Dino, that's why the Dynamorphia deck, no, ma- no matter how cool it is or how powerful it might be, will never be tier one. Because you know what it dies to? Cowboy for game. No, like it, I've, dies, I've, I've, it dies to fucking Ukazi. Like I've seen something similar like that at a locals. It wasn't a Cowboy. It was Sparks. Oh my! God. Like there was this one Dynamorphia player at our locals, right? And this one guy sided in Sparks just for him. And I'm just like, there is no way you just lost this one. <laughs> That's funny. I'm just like, at that, I'm, if if you lose to Sparks at that point, you just gotta hang yourself. Like, I'm sorry. <laughs> nah, like you can't be mad at the person who played Sparks when you're playing Dynamorphia. Like, but you only, can't like, be like, you you I'm have to just hang right. myself. <laughs> Not for real, because it's like. He played Sparks. Fucking Spark Only does 50 points of damage. Not even a whole three digits. And this, and it's like, you could have slotted it. You could have, you could have said, fuck it, I'll play Trickstar. You could have sided in Gaga Ga Cowboy. You could have done Ukazi, gone for the full 500 points of damage. No. You quite literally waited until they were down to like one, like one point life point left. Looked them dead square in the eye and said, "I activate sparks. sparks. Response? <laughs> no response. Good game. That's funny as shit. It's like it's so fucking stupid, man. It's so fucking stupid. I would, I, I would, the amount of money I would have paid to see that IRL, dude. Like lo- lo- locals is like wild west. Like locals is the wild west of you. Know, like honestly speaking." Like I, I wonder. Like I wonder. Like how quickly I would get the, my shit rocked if I brought stun. Uh, you have to go to. Nah, I'm not doing that. I'm not. I'm not about to get. I'm not about to get my. I'm not about to get my teeth cr- stomped into the concrete. <laughs> Which is exactly what happened. Oh, shit. Well, like, shit, man. But like, I'm probably gonna have to like. Go and start making content now, but like yeah. definitely like are you yeah. free like this on um, week? Yeah, um, 
possibly I'll have to check with the missus. But before we go, uh, I want like the, uh, again drop like let pe- let everybody know like your socials, where to find you, your shit, like everything. Support. Yeah. Um, I'll I'll send I'll send you the link for that. But um, it's Yu Gi Oh Double on TikTok, Yu Gi Oh Double on Instagram, same thing with YouTube. Um, I I I drop to Reddit that I'm kind of like you know hoping people will subscribe to because like. I just want the Reddit to just be like just nothing but like just a cesspool of like memes and just unhinged takes. <laughs> oh, you, you're trying, you're, tr- you're trying, you're trying to be like w- what uh, DPYGO used to be. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. Yeah. But like, it's right. sort of on the time I can make content now. Like, if you are free, like, let me know. If I would love to like, do like this. I would love to do this again, honestly. Oh yeah, man. For sure, we'll probably do it on your TikTok or whatever. For sure. Um. But uh, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so very much for listening. I appreciate your time. appreciate your viewership. Uh, thank you, YGO Devil, for joining me this on this... The fuck is it? Tuesday afternoon? Time has no fucking meaning. I'm trying to find a job. To, like The days mean nothing to me. <laughs> dude, same. Dude, same. Dude, same. I'm in the same world. Yeah, I'm just doing this content <laughs> creation to try and not feel like a lazy piece of shit. oh lord have a good one everybody and i'll see y'all uh stick around for a little bit longer but we'll talk for a bit after i hang up the thing but uh this has been uh hi the high soapbox and i'll see you guys in the next episode